Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. So if you're not watching at 60 frames a second, you're missing out on literally half the show. It's true. And we're here with Erlen and hey James, as you can see above our heads. We make it easy for them <laughs> to know our names. <laughs> it's actually really advantageous, I found, because people know your name. Yeah. Like, they know how to spell it. You know, there's no spelling mistakes. Um, Makes and it really easy. For my name and for me specifically, that's a very important thing <laughs> it to is. do. It is. It's not a... Have you ever... I think I've asked you this. Have you ever met another Erlen? No, never. There have are, you looked it up? There are other ones. There are for sure people online that have my name, but I don't know if they have the same spelling. There's lots of variations, okay. yep. like Arlens and stuff like that, but Arlen's. no. Never. <laughs> yeah. There's almost nobody. I think there's maybe one or two people online but they're all women i think i'm the only dude named wow Marilyn. so unique in the world that's yeah. pretty good to be unique in something yeah i feel lucky you know my mom was like she's a designer so like she literally designed a name yeah and she admitted to me that she's like your name would have been erlen whether you were male or female uh, okay <laughs> i was like i don't know how i feel about that you're a disney princess oh god yeah maybe <laughs> maybe i gotta make Somewhere. out with some frogs and see what happens yeah That's see what if it we works. gotta do so we've got four games today we've got mm. uh qb special edition by andrew davy who is with us? Yeah, Who's hey, joined Andrew. us? He said he may not make it because it's four in the morning where he is, which I'm guessing is Australia, New Zealand area. I think did that's you, the only place did that you we're... stay Arg. up or did you wake up? That's the question. <laughs> yeah, did you... Oh, he said pronounce it Oh, right. no. How would you pronounce it differently? Andrew Davy. Davy? Davy. <laughs> Definitely Andrew is right. I feel like Andrew, we've got <laughs> We're nailed. safe on Andrew. I hope so. I stayed up until an hour ago, then woke up. Oh, so you had an hour. Oh, no, QB. 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 How did I say it? You you um, you um sent it to me saying QB. Q. Where is it? Where is it in here? Cube. E. Oh, Cube. E. Uh, I said QB. Oh, oh, sick. It's got no Q, issue with your name. Cube. E. Yep, with an Aussie accent. Oh, beautiful. Cube A. Well, thanks Cube for a. staying right. up and, and, and yeah, doing it, checking man. it out. Oh, man. And luckily, yours is up first, so you can go to sleep right after. Yeah, that's good programming, dude. It's good <laughs> you did that. But cause... I didn't know he was going to make it, though. Yeah. Uh, we've got three other games as well. Pixel Ninja Pit Jump by Sknarp. Sknarp? That's my plan. I'm out of <laughs> here. As soon as my <laughs> That'll be my done, plan, too, man. I get it. Gone. <laughs> it was so worthwhile. Um... <laughs> And uh, Cave In by Steve Engelhart, a.k.a. Atarius Maximus. And mm. Pit Quest by Brian Shea. We've got a AKA pit theme, Me don't Metal we? Babble. Yeah, actually, there's caves and pits. <laughs> and cubes. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh, I want to thank everybody who has joined us in the chat today. Andrew Davey. I thought we pronounced his name wrong, and I was like... How do you mispronounce Andrew Davy? That's right. We got militant Buddhist here. Uh, I suppose, I suppose to thrust. thrust. Um, um, there's some Dianoids, Dianoid, Blended uh, Nut, Tiki Dan K, K, and Ground Trooper, and uh, Nathan, oh, Strum. And Nathan Strum. QB, QB, QB. That would be Australian. It sounds Australian Q, for with sure. With that Y in there, QB. QB. Everyone you got, calls you Boo. That's great. Okay, Boo. Let's do it. <laughs> Just missing Brian. Yep. Brian. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Arena Foot. But he works different hours, so sometimes he jumps in. I want to thank our Twitch subscribers as well. Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, RC70, Retro Happy Hour, Sir Catlegs, Sound Wizard, Spiceware, S. Ramirez2008, and Tiki Dan K. Wild. You can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and clip, clip, puh, click subscribe. Now, we have a poll question. It's a cool one. Today, it is a very cool one. Everything's... I don't know how people are going to uh, vote on it. Um, so, we've got one through four. What do you consider cheating in a game? And there's different levels of what cheating could be. So, I've tried to outline them as best as I could and separate them. The first one is very obvious. Anything goes, cheating is part of gaming. And there's definitely those type of people yeah. who are like, I'm going to do wall hacks. I'm going to give myself, you know, equipment. I mean, I'm talking 
Cheating can encompass multiplayer or single player as well. Um, there's people who you know can, can drop to console and say, "Give yeah. me all the, give me all the weapons, give me all the armor." There's, and there's, I'm still playing the game legitimately. There's infamous if I win, uh, I win. dev rooms, which are very, 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 you know, because often what the developers will do is they'll build a room which has all the items, so that is for so people can kind of test things. So a lot of people find right. codes to them, right. and then they end up in a room where you literally have everything that you could ever want in <clears> it, and that, that feels like oh. yeah. Just watch a YouTube video on that on uh, dev codes. Yeah. Um, and this guy was kind of reverse engineering the dev codes and trying to figure them out and and he was like typing an a and then an autocomplete in the, in the console to see if there's anything that any cheat codes that have a in them so that's the one for one anything goes cheating's part of gaming uh part two is if the game doesn't prevent me from doing it it's not cheating that's number two interesting so that's pretty wide spectrum it's like anything you can um kind of get it get at in the program i would say that excludes external hacking programs that alter the code yeah but if you can drop to console or you know do certain things in a game then it's fine um so it's kind of nebulous there uh third one only normal input such as controllers and console buttons allowed ah so this is like if you can do it in the game without doing anything crazy it's fine and that would include um i would say the things that i was doing in that game the other day where i was going in and out of rooms and kind of refreshing the monsters in the room it's like every time you go into the room a different set of monsters would appear yeah you kind of kind of cheesing the, that's your term cheesing yeah the game. when you cheese it what so it was a randomization of the monsters and I would just keep doing it until it was a favorable amount yeah. or easier monsters. Sometimes you want a specific monster or an enemy that would drop a certain thing after killing them. So you're kind of getting your way in the game. So some people might even consider that cheating. Yeah. Um, I don't. Yeah, me neither. Because it's kind of, it's part of the game. Like the programmer made it so there's randomization. Like you go in and out of a dungeon and, it, and there's some sort of uh, random randomness to it. So I'm going to put in a three. Um, yeah, my, it's, oh, it's so hard to answer this because from my perspective, um, you, you as a gamer, you yeah. should be pushing the limits of a game. That's yes. your job as a gamer is to do everything you can to win. Because but, it should have been tested beforehand exactly. by game testers. It's like... Okay, if I go in and out, or if I go through this wall before this one, this happens. And that's more advantageous to me as a programmer. And especially, like, I play games which have tons of... Oh, hey, hey Dan. Um, <laughs> I thought he was making fun of that you, that mispronunciation. Thing. Yeah. Villains. It's good, to, it's good to have you. I was yep. just... I was just, Hey, Dan. I was thinking that, like, you know... You, but also, I think when you have something like an economy, for example... Like, yes. that's where things get very delicate. Like, an, an online economy is a really important thing. Duplicating items, for example, right. is a huge issue. Yeah. Because there's a logarithmic, infinite kind of way that you can sort of destroy a game. So I think duping without, like, without any kind of sacrifice, you know? Because there's yeah. lots of ways you could, there's games, some games have designed duplicating with a consequence, and that's very cool. Oh, okay. So you would be going for three. I think so. Well. I'd have to go with three. So just normal input, not kind of getting around things, not like jumping yeah. through walls slowly to get through some to some uh, secret room that you have to t spend ten hours. But this way you can do it in two minutes. Cheating would be like inputting left and right at the same time. Yeah, that would uh, probably fall under number two. The game doesn't prevent me from doing it. It's like opening up your joystick and pressing left and right at the same time. Oh, yeah. See, that feels... That's that's way past the realm of what I would say that would yeah. be cheating. Yeah. And, I, and I really do think, though, like, my experience with games is, like, for me personally, I used to love cheating, and yeah. I really don't, and it's just now, and it's just for my own self. I'm like, I don't enjoy a game really anymore if i cheat like i know because to... you're cheating yourself especially in a, a single player game oh, hell yeah right? uh, nathan storm uh i think whether exploits are allowed and or not should be up to the moderators of the competition or high score board in question 
and they do have that on high score boards. They have different categories. Yes. Like there's any percent. All uh, percent. A hundred percent. Like you have to get everything in the game. And there's speed runs too, which sometimes allow um, glitches, glitches, and... wall hacks, any like anything, anything goes. And then there's speed runs where no, you have to do every single level, start to finish. No jumping. You have to go world one, world two, one two, one three, one four, one five, one six, one seven eight. Then you can go to world two, one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I, I find myself these days even throwing limitations on myself because games get to be too easy. Like I'm actually yeah. finding myself being more like limited. Like oh, within the normal totally playing of the game. Because yeah. I want to have a good time, and and it's like especially an RPG. Yeah. I feel like I can figure it out so quick and it becomes god mode so fast, even sticking to the main things. Right, if you do like some certain grinding totally. for X hours, you can get this certain weapon yeah. and then you're set for the whole game. So, for example, there's a game that I really like called Pillars of Eternity. It's a really, really amazing game. I You can build a character from the ground up or you can find characters because you have to build a party. Mm -hmm. I had to make it, like for myself, I will only play story characters because I could build mm -hmm. characters that would just wreck. And I, <laughs> and, I, and I was very quickly able to do it and I was like, man, this sucks. Like this is not a fun game. And that's even within things. So I'm, yeah. I think that you as a gamer should try to make the best experience for yourself. And I think as soon as you cheat, the game plummets in interest for me. Yeah. Um, cause half, cause it's, you know what, it's only as good as his obstacles. And if the obstacles are not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, Andrew Davies says I'm a number one. Wow. Wow. If the programmer has left a loophole bug, exploit it. Gaming is a war against the machine. No prisoners. I, I do agree I with that have... sentence, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. If they have not prevented it, you could, you should be able to just dive right into it and go for it. Yeah. And I think that's sometimes can be really fun is trying to break a game and see how far you can push push the game and see if there is any little openings in there. And I love I love playing games that are like patched too, so it's like old ones and sort oh, of, you know, yeah, there's yeah. a continuing development. And I like the idea of um at least in games that I've played that are like RPGs, I like there's legacy stuff, which is like stuff that they've gotten rid of oh yes um, some and, people like that it's like you've updated it too far yeah and so it's nice that there's like you can oh i can go i can get some legacy things but then i can also engage in like the new game too because i like having both options is cool yeah and number four is you shouldn't do anything the programmers didn't test for or expect anything else is cheating most people wouldn't go for four. no and that's dicey because you know <laughs> there is a level of like it's like oh i shouldn't be doing this yeah. in this game i mean i know it that would be more like this is not in the spirit of the game. Yes. And that I can I can see big people doing that. It's like, oh, I shouldn't be doing that. That feels wrong in this game. Um, so mail, news and feedback. So last episode Ooh. I uh, got I earned my patch for Keystone yes, congrats, Capers. Dude. It took a while to do it, but I did get it. I didn't quite get it in um, Stampede, which I got very close. Was that the last episode? Yeah. Um so it took a while, and the great thing is that Gary Kitchen, Dan Kitchen's brother, um, who made this game, was in the chat watching wow. me play it. Wow! Totally unexpected, of course. The legend Gary Kitchen was there, and um, that was that was amazing. That was an honor that he was there um, to to watch me play uh, Keystone Capers, and I got the patch during that time. So that was that was a lot of fun, actually, when he just randomly popped. I mean, yes, Dan Kitchen watches it, and it's his brother. But still, <laughs> still, it's that amazing. is crazy. I mean, that's a that's a like a from, a, from a game from 1983. Well, man, like right? that's, that's 36 the dream. years later. The, I'm playing this game, and the programmers watching me earn the patch. Unbelievable, and so uh, that's that's I think the most exciting aspect of this show is that we have the developers here with us for for example andrew davy is here well yeah when do, when do you get game. this it's it's insane and, and he's he's a programmer from back in the 80s as well and i played his game games in the 80s <laughs> when he was making them i played his game bop and rumble on wow. the commodore 64 did, did, unbelievable if you could go in a time machine and talk to yourself <laughs> about like, that what, what like, do you think young james would say to old james what oh, would it? like uh, I don't know. I'd be like, just 
I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd believe them. Well, of course, if, you, if you're standing in front of yourself, you're starting to believe a lot of things. Yeah, you, there's <laughs> like, like, okay, oh, the space-time totally continuum's I... fucked, okay. Yeah. But like, yeah. Yeah, you'd be playing, uh, you'd be talking to the guy who makes made crackpots for the Atari 2600, Dan K. Um, and I'd be like, what? You're crazy, that's crazy. And you'd be doing a show about Atari. That would be the most crazy thing, is like 40 years later, people would still be caring about the Atari 2600 yeah. and they're pushing the limits of this system. Um, another one is uh, Dan Kitchen's game, uh, Gold Rush. He oh. released a video of all the train cars in the game. And oh my God, it, did it get um, a good. lot of reaction. So we're just going to play a little bit of that. Uh, it doesn't have any sound, so you won't be able to hear anything. Um, but you're able to be uh, you're able to see it. So let's switch that over. And so it's in a window, but you guys will be able to see it. So there's no um, actual sound. Um, so you can see he's, he can climb up and down the ladders. Wow. Um, jump from train car to train car. Um, this demo, he can just run straight across. He can't die, so normally you would have to jump. So there's some passenger cars there. Little lids that you can go in. God, that looks good, man. Oh my God. Look at that background, the parallax The thing. parallax scrolling. Even the mountains are moving. And they're moving pixel by pixel. And wow. I really want to see how he did that. And especially because the those cactuses are, are zipping by, but like those things are taking... Coal cars. Yep. Uh, and the mountains are done by Playfield, but they're going one pixel at a time Jeez. which is like okay how did you do that you extended them with the ball but how did you extend both sides of the mountain i'm like oh my god and then wait till you he gets to the engine it is one of the biggest most complex objects i've ever seen in a 2600 game Wow. And and it has so moving part, so many moving. Oh, the sprites are free in that area too. Okay, so you can use the ball on the sprites. That's tr that's true, Thomas. That's a very good point. This is why we got we got like got the, the experts in here. <laughs> yeah, like it's amazing. Yeah, the platforms are disabled, so you can run through all the screens there. So he's got some logs, um, and obviously n there's no enemies yet in this uh, build of it. But I have seen a lot of the enemies. Uh, they're really, really uh, creative enemies. It's almost to the front. I'm getting a Snowpiercer vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, because you're trapped on this train. It's not <laughs> slowing down. It's not stopping. Uh, so when we buy these, he is signing the boxes, and he's doing three patches Ooh. for the game. So it's going to be like levels of patches. Oh, look, he climbs up like there's a ladder. Yeah, so you'll be able to go down, That's collect wild. collect gold bars, which is your aim in this game, is to get the gold bars. You can see on the top there's a number of gold bars, there's a countdown timer, there's your lives, and your score at the top. And you should, It's a lot of... A lot of train cars to get through, but you just have to see the um, the engine here. There we go. Wow. The wheels are moving. The piston is moving. Multiple wheels. Oh, it's very short. I'm going to go back and pause that so you can see the, the amazingness of that. So the wheels are spinning. There's little connector pieces. I mean, he knows a lot about trains. And, <clears throat> and if you watch throughout the whole thing also... It's bumping. Oh, it totally is. bumping every, every once in a while. That's wild. So, so visually complex and beautiful. And there's that beautiful Activision sunset uh, in, in the background. And also the, the train... Um, I don't know what they're called. Train tracks. Yeah. Are moving, moving by as well. And I, th I thought in an earlier build he had cactuses on the bottom. But he probably moved it down. I got rid of those for extra room at the top. It makes sense. Yeah, and it's totally fine because there's enough moving at the top. Uh, I hope the cars order gets somewhat randomized. I would guess he would have a shorter number of cars to begin with and then extend it out and you have the same amount of time to complete, you know, 20 cars. Then you have the same amount of time to complete 30 cars, etc., etc., etc. And the complexity goes up from there. So, unbelievable. I can't 
can't wait for that. And he's going to be uh, putting out a Kickstarter for that soon. So you definitely want to get in early on that. I'm sure there's the some high... perks for it. Yeah. So there'll be some really fun. You get a copy of the game probably. And yep. I don't know what, they, what it is. I'm just talking. Signed things. Um, yeah, but, but check it out. Railroad Spike. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what kind of stuff that he's... Uh, any any uh, previews, Dan, of what... Uh, what the perks some, might be. Some interesting perk that you've thought of that's, that's definitely going to be there. Oh, DJ Mips has joined us. Hey, Milton DJ. Buddha says, I'm buying the crap out of this. Me too. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. This is going to, this looks so fun and so, a lot of depth to it. Because, like, you go in the train cars and you can go inside the train cars along from train car to train car as Wild. well. And then come out again at the top. Unbelievable. Um, so, I'm really looking forward to that. I think the Kickstarter's in the fall. Uh, that's what is going to be happening. He said, like I said before, there's going to be, th he said there will be three patches that you can earn uh, and the game will be available as a cartridge in the box, just like the 1980s. So there will be a full box for it. Um, the game will be 32K. Obviously, looking at that, it's going to yeah. be a big game. And a Kickstarter coming uh, soon and release the game in the fall, he says. So it'll be out in the fall. So the Kickstarter will be Look coming pretty soon. There will be a number of items for stretch goals, including T-shirts, commemorative spikes. Spikes, yeah, oh, dude. I, nice. want, I want my spike. I, I definitely want a spike. How much is for the spike? I'm going to do that. Because upstairs, I don't know if you've seen Collectible it. trading cards. Ah, very cool. Um, we have a bottle opener spike yeah. upstairs. I don't know if you've ever seen no. that. Yeah, it's got a little wedge in it, so you can open bottles with the That's spike. That's badass. Yeah, very, very cool. Commemorative spikes. Um, also, the Stella fundraiser is coming up. On July 12th, that is a week and a half away now. Oh, that's going to be awesome. So we're lining up lots of people to phone in. Uh, Dan K is going to be uh, videoing, hey. videoing it in to us. So we'll be talking with him during the, uh, the marathon. We'll be raising um, funds for Stella so they can advance Stella to incorporate all this new technology that's coming in. Um, CDFJ, uh, bus support, and all this advanced 2600 um things like that and we're just gonna hang out yeah it's gonna we're be just fun gonna be day. playing games for 12 hours all these games we wanted to catch up on complete get them done go more in depth with them uh there's gonna be auctions um for rare developer items um we've got a whole bunch of what's items the, from a bunch of developers what's the longest you voluntarily played games like this will be it this will be the thing um yeah other than that, I've I've just like played them off and on. I've never done a marathon gaming session. Yeah. Um, I can't think of what game it would be, but I, I'm pretty sure I've done like a a six hour gaming session. I'm sure you've done way more than that. <laughs> Fortunately, uh, yeah. The, I've done like benders where I'll do like twelve hours, ten hours, and then three days in a row. But after about three days, you're done. Oh, Melitin Buddhist can't get Stella working on your Retron. No, oh, that should be pretty simple. Yes, uh, Dan, if you could find uh, an item to submit for the auction, or even an upcoming item, like you could even put um, uh, Gold Rush as, as an auction Ooh. item, because, um, uh, what's his face, um, has put up an item, oh, now I'm totally got it, oh, oh Galaga, uh, oh, Galaga, can't. so John Champeau has, has put Galaga in box, signed. <sighs> As one of the auction items, Ooh. so you could put up Gold Rush, and that would be a, a great promotional for the game, and make somebody very, very happy as well. Oh, absolutely! That they, they get uh, get like the first one out the door, pretty much, because wow. it's already been uh, up there. So that's an idea. So, or go back in your archives if you've got cool old items or doubles of something that you have from way back in the day that's cool too well i'm excited for you to do 12 hour gaming I, we'll, i'm we'll break your record it'll be great yeah there's going to be a lot of record breaking trying to go on and just playing these games giving them the time Absolutely. that they deserve to be played so let's get on with the show the first one up is qb special edition from 2001 by andrew davy let's Power Let's that up. Go. If you want to grab the joystick there. Sure. And Let's take a peek. I'll turn it on. Hold down oh. button. Got it. And I'll switch over. 
bottom one? Yep. Today's date. Which one are we doing? Oh, yeah. So QB Special Edition from 2001. Um, this, wa this game was first released, as far as I can tell, in March 2001 on cartridge um, at the Philly Classic. There are 50 copies made. This build is also from 2000 is one, 2001, wow. 2002, I believe. Well, it says cool. 2001. This is the fixed version of the special edition cartridge. Okay, great. Um, so this is a 4K game. Other games made by Andrew Davey are, for the 2600 are um, Boulder Dash, QB, uh, AA Holiday... I just have Dash here. I don't know why I have just Dash. Holiday, AA Holiday Cart 2003-2004, AA Xmas Christmas Greeting Cart, plus a ton of Commodore 64 games, NES games, wow. and SNES games. And this uh, game is available in the Atari Age Store. Not this version of it, but Cube... Cube, Cube E is available in the Atari Age Store. Um, this game is a port of a 1984 public domain Atari 800 computer game, uh, Cube E, the uh, same game, written by Andrew Davey as well. Wow, dude. So he uh, ported his own game that was re released in 1984 in 2001. So let's get into it. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. I know the feeling. It won't crash. So, um, Andrew Davey uh, insisted that we definitely read the instructions before going Okay. Going on, because he w didn't want to cringe at us failing to play the game. We'll do our best, man. Okay, how to play. It's pretty simple in concept, but tricky in practice. Move the blocks on the large board so they mat match the pattern on the small board. Problem is, you can only jump to an adjacent block. The long-term aim is to achieve the highest score possible. Don't forget to complete the screen quickly to get those bonus points. Uh, instructions. Match the pattern on the small grid by shifting the cubes on the big grid. You can see it happening yeah, right see. now. Yeah, I see. That's interesting. Use the fire button to throw away anything about to hit you. Throw away any... Oh, I guess we'll figure out what that is. You can only use the fire button when you have score to spend. So ah, you can cool. Redu Not many use that tactic of reducing your score to do something. That's a really good um, game innovation. So you got this innovation. So this is a pattern. Okay, this would be Pattern matching. So it's puzzle. It's a puzzle action game. Um, the more you use it, the more score it costs. There's a limited time to complete the pattern. When the time gets low, the border of the small grid flashes. Okay. Okay, the border. That yeah. makes sense. You have about 10 seconds after that. So that is like, you got to finish yeah, up you gotta really quick. Yeah, you got to keep Okay. Um, oh, yeah, and then you, this flashing right now. Yeah, so that means that guy needs to get it done. If you complete the screen before that, you get bonus points depending on how much time is remaining. So the yeah, big so points come fast, fast, fast. Do it as fast as possible. If the time runs out, the pattern on the small grid changes and you're back to square one. Oh, that's no fun reading the instructions. Ah, uh, he insisted. Andrew Davey insisted <laughs> that we read it. So I want to make sure that we it do it right. It seems like a fairly tactical, complicated game. Yeah. We'll, so we'll probably we... once we figure it out, it'll be easier. But yeah, these are the learning curve on some of these games is rough, man. Especially uh, puzzle games. Oh they, yeah. They. It's not just an action jump right into it. Oh, I jump and dodge enemies. This yeah, is a bit more like, complex. Yeah, it's like like a Galaga. It's pretty hard to like mess up. Yeah. Shoot the bad guys. That's it. Don't get hit. Avoid. I got this. When the time runs out, you can no longer score points on that screen. Jump on the fruit for bonus points and sometimes, depending on some secret pattern, an extra life. Hmm. Ooh. Jump on the hatching eggs to kill them. Okay. All As I said, pretty and simple concept, but fiendishly tricky to play. He did not mention the enemies, but there are also enemies that will kill you. Okay. H hatching out of the eggs. I see. And then I feel like the strawberries is... are good things yeah there's then the that's enemy. an enemy yeah. okay okay so let's uh let's do it and he did pr make the button pressable which is good okay wild so let's get the volume up here okay. i'm how do you fire again uh just press the button but but i mean like what because i got a switch uh guys oh, you, oh, you just spent all your all your score by pressing the button oh shit okay Oh, I see. Interesting. Interesting. So how do I get this? Oh, I... I okay, so you have to match that pattern on the right. So there's... Oh, it just changed. <laughs> okay, damn. 
Okay, this is tricky. I mean, not in a not in a bad way. Just I'm trying to wrap my brain around how to do this. So you kind of have to move and then there you go. You got it. Okay, okay. You got to move and place them, but you can't place them directly Wild. because you can. You have to jump. See, that's an enemy. Okay, go away, enemy. Oh yeah, and then you have to like. You kind of have to build bridge, a bridge. Yeah. As you go. That makes sense. Okay, so so move that and then go down to the first one and then move that around. There. Ah, oh, shit. I, 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 it was just a bad move. I was doing yeah. well. I'm going to read about the... Um, pressing the button again. Use the fire button to throw away anything about to hit you. So that would be the enemy, I guess, is about to hit you. Oh, interesting. Not very good. Is this... Okay, okay, okay. No, you're getting it now. I think I'm wrapping my brain around it. It takes a bit of energy to, like, figure it out. Well, that's an enemy. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, you're right. You need to build a bridge. Yeah, it's like you have there's to kind no... of slowly move them into place. Ugh. He's moving his... Uh, it's hard. He's moving his piece around. <laughs> there you go. Okay. There, and he moved his into place. Yeah, okay. So, Maybe like, it just takes rabbit. a minute to sort of wrap my brain around this. Okay, so let's read some oh, wow. uh, history about this. So the versions of this game that I found, there may be more versions that I could that were out there. Um, I found five different versions of this game. There's the initial no, one that was okay. released in the I'm Philly so Classic well. um, event. There's 50 copies of that in 2001. Then Hoser Video put it out in 2001 as well after that. Then in 2002, there was a special edition slash deluxe edition put out. And then either 2002, 2003, Atari Age released its regular edition that's still in the store that's available right now. Uh, Nathan Strum says, a bunny. Logo reminds me of Epix. Okay. No, I'll get killed. It's a pattern you have to match on the larger board. Oh, God. oh you lost all your lives? Yeah, I just died. Oh, okay. Oh. No reset. Ah, too bad. Okay. But you've got a better idea of it. And it looks like the patterns are randomized, so that gives good replay value, that's for sure. Um, so the holiday QB card. So I need another one, right? 168. Do I? No, I don't. Uh, 168 holiday QB cards. And there was a yeah, contest the for the cover of that. Um. So the store listing says, actually, I'll, I'll read out what uh, Andrew Davies said about this. Uh, I don't think I could bear to watch, he says. <laughs> Usually no. with this game, first attempts to play are a disaster because basically people don't have any clue what to do. There's definitely one uh, where a quick read of the manual will make all the difference. Yeah, for sure, man. If we didn't, like, explain it, I would be screwed. Oh, Andrew Davies lost video, unfortunately. Refresh, refresh. Refresh. I don't know what to do about this guy. I need, I need oh, he has to get in place. And I need more. Try that button and throw something at him. Like, go down to him and, like, beside him. Oh, there you go. Oh. Yeah, you pushed him off. Now you have a chance to fix Yay! it. Yay! There cool. you go. Um... Oh, oh you should have pressed the button. Damn Use it. your score. Um... I designed QB, Cube E back in 1983 when I was a bedroom programmer, as we used to call them. It kind of has some similarity to the sliding number puzzles where you had to put the tiles yeah. in order, but that's only superficial. Also, the name is a bit like Qbert, but that's just a coincidence, as the gameplay is totally different, other than hopping on squares. What do we gotta do? Is it, are, we, are we doing, do we got enough? Yeah. No, oh, that see, was a did quick you see death. that? I was, I yeah, had it, I you. had it lined up too. QB is still last on the sales on the AA oh, store after no. you withdrew the game temporarily. Yeah, they're doing rather well. DJ Mip says, I don't know. I don't know about that. That last game wasn't so good. The first, your last one before that, you did pretty well. I was doing decent. I think you got ambushed. I kind of, yeah, I did get like. Uh... No, you left a square behind. Yeah, that's you have to kind of bridge. There you go. Now. How am I gonna do this? Oh god. 
Well, the last one to put you put in place is the one separated. I have to like wrap my brain around this <laughs> stuff, man. I think that's how we're gonna do this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's how we do this. No, it's a new pattern now. Oh, you took too long. I did, I took way too long. Oh, God. Also the name, uh, the first version was developed for the Atari 400-800 machines, which the computer, was the computer this had back then. It's hurting my brain. There were five versions because oh, I was milking the community for all the money I could get. <laughs> hey, okay, if so it works, it works. Goes. If people still keep buying it, that's great. I'm just like having Especially with special hands. editions. And we'll get to what was in that special, uh, extreme edition. Oh, yeah, there we go. I pronounce it no. Cube E. Yes, After yes, I learned yes, how to yes, program... No, I missed it. Oh, God. The 2600 back in 1998 or so, I started Thanks. seeing it if I could possibly get Cube E running on that machine. I w it was an interesting challenge to do play field animation for the sliding cubes and tiles, which is, works really well. The sliding, sliding tiles are, are great. I was quite proud to have succeeded. These days, the games are much more sophisticated, but back then, programming was a bit more of a challenge as we didn't have so much knowledge about how to do things. Yeah, and everything was an innovation um, back then. Oh no! my god! Oh. That guy was just on you. Holy shit. I think it's better to be uh, offensive against those guys yes, than defensive, because that guy was I running. Think you're right. For sure. I always found QB to be one of those games I could play on automatic without thinking too much. Yes, it gets quicker and harder, but there's a certain feeling of relaxation and calm that it gets just sliding the blocks oh in a place goodness. and efficient, oh efficiently forming one of the patterns. No. Looking back on it, I'm not sure that it competes well against modern homebrews. I think it does. It's a cool game, man. Fuck. This is, I'm having it like, hurt, it hurts my brain, but in like a really good way. Like not It's in a... super unique. There's not a, there's a time limit, but it's, it's, okay. it's pretty so lax so far. Like... There you go. You got it. Where's the bonus coming? Oh, right away. I'm okay. still, I'm, I haven't really employed my kind of like offensive stuff at all. Like, mm. I'm not going to lie. Like that's been like... It's all defensive. Yeah, I've just been kind of doing the blocks. Like, I still don't quite know what, like, the firing thing does yet. <laughs> but I'm not doing terribly, so that's something. Nathan Strum says, I only or I only own two copies of QB. I'll try to do better. <laughs> Maybe Albert can fix that with the upcoming um, store software change. How am I going to do this guy? That's hard. Ooh. That uh, is... Hard. Maybe it's the last one I should do. Yeah, that's the... That's the no, is There's it? There's two separated now. I don't now. know how to do this. How can this you is do really hard. Now? You'll have to employ that guy to move it for you. I think so. What happens if I fire on him? Okay, this is just tough. Okay. Oh, interesting. So this is like, it's moving around on us now, which is a bad thing. Yeah, know. it is. Uh, wow. How do you get those last two in place? you got to move that guy because you still need one more tile. Yay. There you go. Okay. Now get that out of the way. How did you do that? Just took me a second. Wow. I think I'm like wrapping my brain around this game oh, a little bit. Oh, I see. Okay. No! Oh, see, I was, I was like immediately. You kind of have to set up future patterns and yes. make okay, a Okay, that's how the offensive thing works. I think I got an idea. Yeah. Okay. Um, it seems so long ago now, nearly 20 years. A bit more for you to talk about. Uh, QB on the 400-800 was my entry into the professional video game programming. So this was his first game that he ever made, but on the, uh, back in uh, the 1980s. Uh, having written it as an 18-year-old, give or take, I was working as a technical no, assistant. I had at, it, and then it changed on me. That's uh, hilarious. At one job for a few months when my boss showed me an advertisement in a mainland no, newspaper. I hit my thing. The ad was from a company named Melbourne House, and they were looking for games programmers. Want me to give it a go, and you can read this? Yeah, man. You, you try it out. Where are we at? I sent off QB. I sent off QB, and within a week, I had a job offer. I had to move from uh, Tasmania to Melbourne. That's probably fairly fairly far. I don't know my Australian geography at all, though. <laughs> no. And uh, for this, they offered me um, Aussie $500. In those days, the Aussie dollar and US dollar were about the same, give or take. 
salary was a grand Aussie 17, uh, 17,500, which while not exactly a fortune, was sufficient to live off of. This was my first time away from home too. So off I went, um, my, entirely, my entire worldly belongings packed into a tiny 1960s car, and I drove and ferried all the way up to the big city. The rent for my apartment was uh, Aussie, $320 a month. So that gives you an idea of relative costs. Wow, yeah. Melbourne House did not want to publish QB, even though I offered. Um, they only published for the C64 and Spectrum in those days. I was put straight to work on the C64 game, a machine I had never seen before and partially despised because, after <laughs> all, it was Commodore versus Atari back in those days. Anyway... Um, I soon came to really like that machine, and that was the what end the, of oh my, my 400, 800 programming days. Um, when I left the games um, industry after about 15 years as a professional programmer, I was rather nostalgic for the old days. I think most homebrew people for sure are. Um, when a single programmer could make a game all by himself. Yes. Um, and I think that's why we have such a great community is because of that. Like, you know, if we if you were to just juice graphics, I mean, you just you just get lost. Yeah. Um, uh, and ah. I say my I say himself because the girls were few and far between. That's a good point to, to say. Yeah. Because I mean, not many. And we don't want to, you know, we, we, it's important to be inclusive because yeah. I mean, we'd love to see more female programmers. That would be amazing. I don't think I've. No, there is a game that I want to play called Kangaroo that is uh, made by a woman, um, but it's unfortunately glitchy oh, on the system. Bad. It jumps. I'm gonna hopefully see if I can play it soon. How do I? How do I do this? Oh, you gotta wrap your brain around it. It's it's tough, and it'll like, change, right? So there's oh. some that are almost impossible to do, and then you kind of have to like. It's a fun game. It it, it really messes with your head though. Ah. Yes. You gotta like really think about it. Oh, he says, in my entire professional career as a programmer, I have met perhaps three female programmers. They were, without exception, absolutely brilliant. Um, but there aren't many. And no uh, bedroom programmer that I was aware about. What is a bedroom programmer? Is oh, that... he explained it earlier. It's th like programming it by yourself. Ah, cool. It's like, just because I was You can do it by yourself as... outside of an office. Yeah. Uh, uh, QB requires. Oh yeah, I wasn't. I didn't hear any of what you said because I was like, "Oh, it's trying to find this puzzle." Uh, <laughs> so, being nostalgic, I started to look at the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. I remember this machine from its uh, later years when it was heavily discounted in Kmart <laughs> and similar stores. I thought it, I didn't yeah, know you have Kmart right. in Australia. That's hilarious. Oh, we don't yeah. have Kmart here in Canada, no, really. It's gone now. It's very, very American. At least that's no, how we I had it. it. We had it. We had it. Okay. Yeah, you're just too young to know. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Millennial. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a. I thought it was absolute rubbish, based mainly on the experience of seeing it uh, running Pac-Man in the store and nothing else. Yeah, that Pac-Man is not the best. Uh, no, not entry a good point example. Into Atari. No. Um, after I learned how difficult it was to program, that being that became interesting, and I enjoyed the Stella list, and soon found out that my long experience as a games programmer meant that I actually had a lot to offer the community with regard to experience and programming techniques. Eventually, I started playing with a, the developing QB on the um, uh, uh, 2600. After all, the game has a special place in my heart. It got me my first job in the industry. What better than to port it to the machine that almost by itself started the industry? <laughs> yeah. Wow, ah, it's a beautiful little breakdown, man. Yeah. Uh, DJ Mip says it'd probably be a good phone game. Yeah, this could translate really Hell well. Hell yeah. Because it's you could, you could either press to get the guy to jump or slide to move the block or is it just up down left yeah it's just up down left right so it's just fl flick 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 in four directions oh and, yeah and have a little button on the bottom i gotta get this bunny there we go <laughs> sorry bunny you gotta go sorry friend uh, this is and it changes oh, oh yeah goodness. it slips out as soon as you think you got it you know yep That one. No, no, no. Hey! No! And then the second, you gotta kill that guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, it changed. So far, I don't think I've... Um, I think I could actually take my time more, because so far I haven't seen it flash in the time that I've played. Oh, really? Yeah. So it does give you a bunch of time. A fair, fairly decent amount of time. Damn it. You got a bridge. Man. No. You gotta plan the bridge beforehand. Okay, I think I got it now. One more into place. Yay! Okay, you nailed it. 
I think that's everything. Is... The next one's about uh, uh, pit jumps, I think. Yeah. I think we're good. Do you think Tanya would like this game? I think, yes. This I think is this a, would be a Tanya game for sure, man. I think I sure, may man. bring this back on Friday. You should get Tanya. Because I think she'd dig it, man. Just have to get one. Yeah, you, you got it. Bam. It's not obvious how you do it right away. How no, you build it, these. It, it takes some time. I was it's hurting my brain, man. <laughs> I'm very look. These are the kind of games I enjoy, though. I'm very spatial. It's just the way. I, oh. It's just the way I am. So this kind of stuff, really. There's those games where you do. You ever have you ever heard of those games where you have like a oh, bus over. that you have to break out? You yes. Have a, yeah. I that's... Pl- shit ton of those. Like yeah. when I grew up, I played n- it's tons very. Of them. S- it's a very similar to this, but it's a, I feel like it's the same it's... part of your brain that's doing it. You know. Uh, Thomas says, yes, definitely a Tanya game. Oh, yeah. It's got just enough. It's got a lot of puzzle. A lot of puzzle. And just a little bit of action that keeps you on your toes. And I like the... I like when the guys, like, shift around your block and take over. (laughs) Yeah, it becomes, like, an adventure, you know. Yeah. See if there's any other notes, because it's... uh, Let's see... Oh, yeah, I was going to talk about the special edition he put out of it. Um, The description of it is uh, a genuine wooden used cigar box. A box is big enough to hold a CD flat and the 2600 uh, cartridge. Glued to the top of the box are rare wood cubes, flat squares. So the top of the wooden box looked Ah. like the squares in the game. So that was a really cool addition. Um, each box will have a different, probably random game screen design, so each box is unique at the top. On top of some of the squares, actual creatures, little plastic or glass figurines. Inside, as noted, a CD with the emulator Z26 and source code, no. and all QB versions I've saved, about 20. Full assembly, source code, and complete Stella archive of the QB discussion. I need to okay with the Stella... Okay, this with Stella owners. The cartridge no, itself okay. is special label. Uh, the number... Good of the package will be shown on the lid as the score so i also need a lot of digits probably brass so jammed by thomas yeah uh the first levels fewer blocks that's why it's easier not cigar boxes i had them built by a disabled shelter oh cool and then shipped them with a fatal bug yes and i have that in here as well uh, as a note uh, somebody said the last I heard there was recall because of a bug in the program and the new boards were being ordered. No, did you see this? Oh, good. Oh, he did it. He just popped. He literally, I was like, just had my thing lined up, and then he instantly popped. And then Andrew Davy posted April twenty first, two thousand two. Yes, there was a recall. In fact, I had a hundred new boards manufactured. The remanufacture is the best way I could see to satisfy. No, me. no. Oh, okay. I'm tackling the pending that. orders first, and then the replacements to those who've already received shipments. So he made up a whole bunch of special edition cartridges, and then he, he shipped them with a bug in the game where you couldn't finish the game. Oh, no. And I can't remember what the bug is. I think I'm like, can you remember exactly what it is? I think on one of the levels, it just breaks the game, and, and you couldn't play it properly. Imagine that, shipping. Because games nowadays are different than games back then. When you shipped it, it had to be perfect, and it was done. There was no updates. Yeah, there's there's no, no opportunity for anything. Oh, God, this is hard. Mm-hmm. How am I going to do now, this? And now there's Slow. updates, and I even fear that because I buy I buy the final game on... No, on, James. Kill him. Oh, go. no, I just had like my lineup, and oh, then it was he messed like... With it? And, the, and then it There just, you go. One more. Perfect. Bam, I just had it perfectly. Mallard Games, welcome. Hey, Mallard. Yeah, Andrew Davies says, I had to send replacement boards to everyone. Ooh. So did you send the, the board no. and, and they had to put in the board themselves into the cartridge? Or did you uh, ship them another cartridge? Because if it's just a screw, like if it was like an Activision game where the screw is under the label. Is it screw under the label? Yeah, you're pretty much, you're screwed. Uh-huh. Um, but on some of the Atari no. cartridges, you can open them up and it's totally oh, fine. man, this dude is messing with me. Andrew Davies said, I offered a cart. Nearly everyone wanted the board. Okay, it was an option. Okay, that makes sense. That's that's a much better way. Because you, okay. you want to um, make it as cheap as possible on your end and as easy as possible for them on their end. So I was reading about those. Um, yes. Anytime there's a recall on a car... Or even these airplanes that are crashing, 737s. Yeah. 
they always try and do a, either a software update for the car or make like a cheapest plastic thing that can that can repair the problem um, because obviously if there are millions of them out there you want to make it really really inexpensive I think you're kicking ass on me now maybe I can't remember my I score was it 21 th this is about as good as I've ah, get him this is about <laughs> as good as I've done yeah um, really good Everyone felt they were getting a better deal having two copies. Oh, yeah, they would have two copies. That's true. They would have the two separate boards. Said, I will pay for the cart return and send you a new Jesus. one, or you can have the board and keep the cart. Yeah, I think I would. Gonna, I would have kept the defective board, board as well, because that's, like okay. that's like a piece of oh history, having having this um, defective board. Like, it's part, no. of, part of the oh, game God. release. I had it, and then it's just this. And, um... So there we go. That's that's like in the case of the Vectrex, the uh, this is very reminiscent of of the Vectrex problem that they had. Um, the game shipped with a built-in uh, the system built uh, shipped with a built-in game, and that built-in game had a bug in it. So they had as an option, if people contacted them, they would ship them. A, uh, a new uh, copy on cartridge of the game. And Mindstorm was the game built into it. Ah! Oh, dude, Damn you had it. it. It's so rough sometimes. I love, I like that though, man. Like, uh, Andrew, I love that you have this kind of random element to ah. it too, where you have to kill these guys, ah. and there's this a real sense of. Um, it's danger. Like, yeah, it's a really interesting game because you end up having to, like, fight to get into the position, and then sometimes it just changes on you. Sometimes you get lucky. It's really interesting. And I like, too, that you have to sacrifice your points to, like, um, uh, defend yourself. Yeah, and that's it, a very good mechanic. And you, um, feel mechanic. Like, you feel like you're doing so well and then all of a sudden pop your dead pop your dead and also there's some patterns that are just Damn. easier than others yeah. so it's interesting because it's addictive because you're kind of like man am i going to get a good pattern am i going to get That's a good right. roll you know how it's, it's how's it going to turn out yeah and then as soon as you think you figured it out it changes on you and you have to wrap your brain around the order i'm starting to get a sense of like like how to manipulate tactics a bit yeah that may, is making it simpler but so like f the wild thing here is that like you're you gotta, on room four and you have like 1700 i was on room nine and yeah. i had like 1500 i'm just so powering well you just you you fast. went quick so it's, it's really interesting because like um it really is a speed game like yeah like 22 like screen's black for me oh mallard i think it's cool from our end no, it's all good. Okay, yeah. Sorry, Mallard. Oh, sorry. Refresh. Refresh. <laughs> now imagine a 3D version of this game played in a 4x4x4 cube. That, Ooh, would, that wow. would blow my fucking mind, man. That's, that might be tough that's, to wrap your head around. This feels like a high IQ game to me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you know, it, it does... It... Yeah, there you go. There you got go. it. You just know, it just really requires spatial A lot stuff. of spatial thinking. Oh, my God. Oh, we got a rabbit. Die. Yeah, you don't oh, really dude, kill him, would, you just push him off. wild, man. He says you play on one face, but you can climb around the adjacent face. It's like a Rubik's Cube at that point. Yeah. You'd have to make the patterns not too crazy, I think. Oh, my God. But, no, this is, this is definitely, like... This is a game where... Um, this really it tests a certain kind of iq because i mean a lot of iq is like spatial intelligence yeah. and pattern recognition okay and, and so it's it really is an interesting this feels like an iq kind of game like the kind of thing that if you you know like they have those That's games for um separated uh, things. uh and it's, they're really popular on iPhones for people who've had strokes or people who've had mm. like and they, they, you, they they were brain exercises because like one of the issues is is like spatial recognition is something that you sometimes lose for stroke survivors and things so I feel like this game would be amazing for somebody who's having to build yes. that spatial oh yeah like thing because it really exercises Damn a part it. of your brain that's not often used ah oh, 26 oh that's it 
That was a, that was a really good one, good man. Run. You made it. You you blasted through because I was at nine and I was at like fifteen hundred. It's you made all it about eight. time. You get a lot of points for going fast. Yeah, for sure. And it's yeah. interesting. It's like you get lucky sometimes, but also it's just some patterns are easier. And it's yes. like you got to. But you, if you can wrap your brain around how to do it, you can yeah. do it quick. Yeah. Um, it's a real problem solving game. I think. What it's is it? Amazing. I, I, yeah. If you're still like, you should make this for the for uh, mobile. Hell yeah. Mobile games. I think this would clean up in mobile. Oh, for it would. Sure. Absolutely. Because it's just swiping. It's just swiping. Trying to figure out how to do all the stuff. Absolutely. And it's simple and addictive. And this was totally something that I would fuck around with like <laughs> at any point on the bus or something like that. Yeah. It's, a, it's a quick, it's non-committal. Yeah, it's very quick off... Quick, but it makes quick, me want to want to keep going, and, and and like the high score factor is fun because it's random each time. It's very it's got replayable. A lot of replayability. So great, great job. Obviously, and obviously a great um, translation and a I'm, port of it to the twenty six hundred. And thanks for getting us to read the instructions because definitely, um, I, I could, I could, I could imagine it. It would have been painful like, for us do? trying to figure it out. What's the rabbit? And there's a fun to that, but it's cool to try to like attack this game. Mm -hmm. um, so thanks for hanging out with us and staying up yeah, and getting up at four indeed, in the morning. Man. Thanks yeah. for making this. And, this is fun. And this is available in the Atari Age store. So throw me, a couple bucks that way. And let you me get know what Tanya thinks of this. Yeah, I think she'll really, really, really. I'd love to it. see Tanya play this, man. I bet she would crush. She. She probably would build the score slower. Yeah, but because she's more thought out. Yeah, she's very thorough. But definitely, it's it can be an action game if you want and go really fast, or it can be a slow, thoughtful puzzle game and you build your score gradually. So you can play it in two different ways. Yeah, and see how want. far you can push. And yeah. also, I think that if I were a little better with the um, like offensive side of it because i feel like i kept dying and that's really challenging mm -hmm. um so i think if i got a handle on the offense i think i could push pretty far with this and it's such a good feeling you feel like really well when it all clicks together or when you see how it can click you're yeah. like oh i'll do this and this and uh, my and i i find my time is divided between looking at that and looking at the screen and that's when i get in trouble and get killed by the yeah, because you're trying to like look at the you're thing. Trying to make the and... pattern. You're not concentrating too much on you specifically, and that's that's where I think I would need to up increase my um, abilities. Is making sure I'm paying attention to hatching eggs. Well, yeah, we yeah. were we were, I think we were talking about it last show, weren't we? Where people were complaining about um, or not? I shouldn't say complaining. There were there was concerns about. Um, uh, 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 graphics overwhelming gameplay, and this oh, is really yeah. a great example of a game where, like, I don't, is... I don't care at all about. No. It's a great gameplay. It's and, amazing. And the graphics are really good. Incredible. Too. Like, look at the guy's red shoes with white soles, and, the, you're and he's fighting got octopuses, blue pants and, and it's like, and it's unwrapping. So I think it's a, you know, this is again, it's an amazing. This is why Atari games are so fun because it's these simple, beautiful, elegant little games that are just yeah. like that really make you. Uh, a addicted and B like remind you why you play games because it's yeah. not you know I don't need to be Geralt of Rivia. And uh, Andrew says he'll uh, waive his commission for anybody purchasing through this event. Holy cow! So five dollars cheaper for anybody who says that they saw it on Zero Page Homebrew. Um, so somebody needs to tell uh, Andrew. You need to tell Albert that if you want to make that a reality. So yeah, that's a good point because he's yeah. the one who's got to actually deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can everybody see Zero Page Homebrew? Yes, please let us know because uh, Mallard is having some issues. If you just refresh your page, I, I'm sure I would see. Yeah, no problems, no problems. Good. Okay, so awesome. Let's move on to game number two. And thank you very much. Yeah, thanks uh, so Andrew, much and for, for being here, dude. And giving some uh, great insight into the background of you and the game. I liked your stuff. story. That was a really great little story, man. Yeah. We got to we got some mythology, which I'm always on board for some mythology. Well, what happened? It turned Russian. Every turn thing it turned Russian and backwards. What are we pixel uh, ninja pit jumper? Yes. The next have a good one? sleep, Andrew. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, we are going to pixel ninja pit jump by. Should we jump up the main page, or do you think it'll jump right away? I'll hit it. And, um, or do you want a second? To... Just one second. Cool, no worries. I just want to follow up on our poll here. 
Um, what do you consider cheating in a game? What's our... uh, the number one thing was number three, which is the one I voted for. Is, and I think you said three. Yeah, I'd, I'd go with a three, too. I think that's my vote. O only normal input as controllers and console buttons allow. But you can do anything within those confines. If you can control them to do that, then it's something that the developer just didn't get around to doing. And it's it's them for not doing enough gameplay testing. It's true. But if you can do it, that's fine. I mean... And then you set your own limits, whether it's fun doing that. It's like, oh, I just found out how to get the best weapon and armor, and now nothing defeats me. You're not going to play Yay. that way. That's not going to happen because that's not fun. Maybe you'll play it for a little bit and go, ha, 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 kill, kill, kill. But Yeah, yeah and Andrew, we uh, post these on YouTube, so if you want to check out the rest of the show, you can watch it on YouTube. Yeah. Or, I totally get it, go get some rest, and mm -hmm. thanks, for, um, yeah, thanks just for hanging out, man. Search for Zero Page Homebrew on YouTube. And we have or, all of our stuff up there. Yeah, right? hundreds of shows. I don't know if... I don't know. I don't something. know who would want to watch all of them as a retrospect, but I would, it would Maybe. be awesome. Do a big marathon. But you can zone in on games that might interest you, and that's, that's the, probably that's the what cool part. I've seen people say, check this out on Zero Page Homebrew. Like yeah. People asking about um, games. Now we have a big enough archive that people can go back and look at things and, and go, see. oh... You know, we've probably played 300 games now. Whoa, James. Because <laughs> we've done 100 shows. and there's We've a... done 100 shows? Of this yeah, thing? I know. What was the 100th show? Did we? Did uh, you... I did commemorate it. Okay, yep. cool. It must have been not when with I wasn't the, here. Not with a cake or something. But yeah. no, you must have missed it. Too bad. That's yeah. not good. But it's like three or four games a show. So yeah. I would say 250, 250 games. That sounds about not right, a, man. Not a good Holy. estimate. So that covers a lot of Atari homebrew, let's say. So let's get on to Pixel Ninja Pit Jump. Oh, Should actually, I... the second place was Anything Goes, Cheating is Part of Gaming. So some people like uh, like going for that. I get it, man. So go for it. Pixel Ninja Pit Jumper. P-N-P-J. Oh. Okay. Should I just do it? Yeah, do it. This one is one of those where you can... Hold on. It's not much to... I'm guessing that I jump. Yep. And I try not to and there's die. pits, and you're a ninja. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Oh my god, and there's lasers? Well, in terms of this guy being a ninja, I'd probably say that's an arrow. No, I can't. And he's a very sticky ninja, so he can uh, he can climb up things fairly Whoa, easily. Whoa, look at this. But I can kind of like ride it. Uh, you gotta move with it. No! Okay, I survived. Okay. The stakes just got higher, friends. Whoa. Yeah, That's and hard. It's platforms hard. translate, I believe. You can't fall off if you... Like, if you're it's walking on that platform, they go over all the way. You don't just oh, fall. Oh, thank God. You might finish this game. We'll see. There's the finish. <laughs> almost didn't finish. Hold on, did I just win? Yeah, that's it. Is that that's the game? The game. Yeah. Fuck yeah, James, you want to do it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, what, a, yeah. what a winning screen. <laughs> Up in the club. It's hilarious. Oh my god. And, yeah, the guy didn't... You have to actually turn off the game. Whoa. And turn it back on. Whoa, okay. So they don't expect people uh, to win, I guess, going. on the winning screen. What a celebration. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, uh, um, so this was put out on uh, June 29th. It's 4K. Other games he has made. This is his first. So, uh, CRT, the Chromatic pitch, Pixel Ninja Pit Jump, and Steak Toss. Cool, steak he said, okay, right yeah. I stuffed about as much as I could into a 4K with my current skill set. Um, uh, title screen, wind screen, platforms, 10 screens, two unique deaths, and a few bleeps and bloops. <laughs> Press down to charge a higher jump. Press oh. fire to jump. Ooh. Whoa, you can okay. see it adds up. I didn't even use that, and I like I managed it, to make it. Oh, it's it. a little bit higher. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit higher. You don't need it. Because yeah. there's no jump you can't make without it. Ooh, that was close. Message from Sknarp. Should I read that? Yeah, that's what he sent to me. I messaged him about the game, because usually I, I get the developers involved. So yeah, they can course. come watch it, like Andrew Davey. I'm going to call him SK NARP, because that sounds cooler SK than SK NARP. That, that might be it. SK NARP. Um, <laughs> message from from her, him? Him, um, I'm guessing. Oh, whoa. Them. I'm surprised that this is even worth playing, lol. <laughs> this is his response. It's not us. Uh, I much appreciate the shout-out, though. I never really knew what to say about this thing. 
It was made in about six hours as a way of seeing how much stuff. Who's in quote? There's the uh, oh, cool. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> it's in 4K. I've already gotten better at ROM management, though, um, uh, which is why this one CRT, the chromatic. Still has 1K left to be utilized. I'd love, um, I'd love it if you could uh, take a moment to try out this newer concept and let me know what you think that extra space should be used for. Yeah. So here's the death when you get shot by an arrow. Oh, that's cool. Two unique deaths. Yep. <laughs> this, this is a work in progress, right? That's what Rust says. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know. I, I think he's done it. It's not listed as a work in progress. No, um, he is. He's put it out, and it's but I mean, just done. It, what's six hours of work? I mean, yeah, not this is this is done in six hours. So. Oh, you're at the bottom. But if there was some criticisms, I would make is that his jumping is there's no animation. For Maybe, the guy see if moving. you can super jump up to that one that's like on the left. You see how it's like. Yep, I can. Whoa. There's no animation for the guy. He just kind of levitates along. <laughs> um, what was the one? The that sound we, is fine. What was the one that we played where you could teleport? Oh, then you could levitate. The snow. You can't win. You that can't one. Win. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit of that. Yeah, because it's using the basics of Batari Basic. It's yeah. Oh, can't jump like that. Uh, yeah, you gotta go into that platform on either go through it, yeah. The sounds are good. I mean it's it's way too easy. He didn't build in anything you need to use this jump for, so he should have done that. Correct. Um also you can kinda long enough. You can also sort of land in the middle of the platform, which is interesting. Yeah. So it's sort of like So he should have like, You see that? Like you, as long as you're touching it. So it's it's fairly actually it's fairly hard to not hit it. Like you actually actively have to try pretty hard to to do that. Oh god, it's not for sale, no. <laughs> not for sale, no. No, he's just posted in the Atari age. Yeah, um, it said he. It's. It mostly sounds like he's working on this as like a uh, like to learn and challenge himself. Yeah, and and I like giving feedback sometimes to to new programmers, and to keep them keep encouraging them. And the arc of the jump, I believe, is just a, um, a straight up angle. So it's not very exciting. It's not an arc. So we didn't build that in. So there's definitely a lot of improvements. Like this, too. You shouldn't be able to... <laughs> well, he's, well, he's a, ninja. a ninja, man. It's kind of cool, you know? But he should have built those... Put them up a little bit higher, maybe? Yeah. So you it's... need this big jump to get up, back up to the top level again? Because that should be a punishment. Like, oh, you fell off. Now you have to deal with this bottom area. Totally. Like that. Ooh, see, yeah. That is time to kill you if you go along. Which is so great. Which is a good timing. I mean, one note I always have is, can you please make the reset not having to go to the yes. console? Please, please. It's definitely. I mean, it's, it's one, terrible. if it's a really, like, long game, it's that's not the end fine, of the world. Yeah. But if it's something that's, like, very short like this, it's definitely a cool it's idea. A pain in the ass, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely conventions that are adhered to nowadays. But yeah, way too... We call those quality of life. Yeah, the fact that you can do this <laughs> is crazy. And and this should transport you along. Or maybe you didn't want that. Have you beaten it yet, James? Oh, I haven't officially, but oh. I've been m messing around I to know. Show, show people. What it's like. It will end on me beating it. Sounds good. If you can manage it, James. I don't know. I don't know. I'll build up a big jump. Woo! Win, win. And this didn't have the crazy sound this time. Oh yeah, so that was a bug. Uh, interesting basic game, too easy of course. I do think the good guy looks like Pickaxe Pete, not as animated. Oh, Packrat VG, welcome. 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 Who's Pickaxe Pete, man? I don't know who. But again, I'm out of out on all the references. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, he is from another game, I think. Minor 2049er? That one? Oh, okay. Um, so, let's go on to the third game, because that's all you can do with that one. Yeah, that's fairly <laughs> quick. It's cool to see... Um... I, I like giving some, some time to new programmers. Hell yeah. Um, so that they... Um, not every they show can be Galaga. <laughs> no, not every show can be Galaga. Not every game can be Galaga. That's true. Okay, man. we're gonna play an RPG now. It's Ooh, called Big Cave Quest. Okay, Cave In. Man. Big oh. Quest is last, which is also an RPG. Which one should I do? Uh, well, not I, the PAL. Oh, yeah, even though this go. can handle PAL games. Should I hit it or wait? Um, let's see the launch screen. Let's I guess. Go for the launch screen. Put that up there. I won't. 
Ooh. Very nice full Indiana screen. Jones vibe. Uh, this is made by Steve Engelhart, a.k.a. Atarius Maximus. Mm. Um, this build is from August 9th, 2012, so it's not a new game. This is a 32K game, so a big one. Oh, uh, Pickaxe, an uh, Odyssey 2 game. Oh, okay. cool. Other games this guy's made, Asteroid Escape, Bombs Away, Cave In, Cave Run, Diamond Drop, Drag Race 2600, Gate Race, Gate Racer 2, Grand Theft Atari Demo, Inferno, Jumper, Jungle Lift Adventure Demo, OS 2600, Primate Plunge, R Pad Pla Blaster, Touchdown Challenge, Turbo, and a massive amount of hacks. And this is available in the Atari Age store. So this is actually a, this a, is a legit... full release, legit game. Amazing. Um, so jump right into it. I would oh, say. Tiki Dan subscribed. Oh, thank you so much. Eleven months now. Oh, I got to get that twelve month reward now. It's coming up. The One annual. Okay, should we hit it? Let's oh, see. there's snakes on the side and spiders. Did you see yeah. those? And bats. I think 3D so. Three D bats flying. It's a, it is a great screen. Should it I? Is? Should I do yeah, it? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Level one. Now this does have some jitter, but it doesn't kill the game. Only on some screens. Okay, so I got a I got a gun. Am I using up bullets? No. No, you got a gun. You've got health on the right hand side. Whoa. Yeah, Holy you can't shoot through those, so make sure you have enough uh -oh. room to shoot them. Oh, too bad about the jitter. It's really good so far. Yeah. It's when you fire and when you hit the side. That's fine when you hit the side because that makes sense. No. Oh, Ooh, yeah, that we was... weren't in the right direction. Oh, Whoa, what's too... this? Health? I th health yeah, that seems like health, doesn't it? Oh. Whoa, spider. But it's a dead end room. Whoa. Oh, oh. oh you got some things? Keys? Oh, yeah. Two, two keys now. Interesting. We'll, we'll find out what those are for. Pretty soon. Whoa. Yeah, it's one of those whoa. games that whoa. doesn't keep whoa. track of what you've killed in the room. <laughs> so, Which is pretty cool. if you go back in the room... Okay, I'm going to go up, because I don't believe I've done that yet. Whoa, snake! There you go. Very good. June 4th. Turns out it was true. My team opened up a small area Ooh. of jungle where we knew there was a cave whoa. mouth. We weren't expecting the level of clearly Mayan decoration and architecture surrounding it. Who My could, people kept though? it quiet and have thankfully left it undisturbed until I can get there. Doesn't Holy. sound like anyone's been down there for a while. Ooh, falling boulders? Um, I'm just going to go back to the snake room. Really? Oh, God. Whoa. Uh, you're getting better. Yeah, but it's like not really hurting me. No, Weird. it's not. Maybe you got some protection. You're not going to that. I'll room do it. Up there? I just wanted to check and see like what this oh. area was first. This does seem like 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 a place to be, doesn't it? It does. Seems like oh, this is a tough, tough place. I think that's the only way to go. Whoa! Come on. There we go. Seem to do anything for you. Yeah. But I think you're at full health. Still. I think I'm at full health, and I didn't seem to get hurt by these guys. I do find they jitter. It's not game breaking, but it is hard on my head. <laughs> you know. Ah. Sphinx. Snake. To me, that looks like it looked like a coyote with a strange look on its face. That's a good but, point. Huh? And then we got the scorpion. Uh, doesn't sound like anyone's been down there for a while, although there's evidence of some ill-advised attempts at gold mining by the Spanish to the north. But that's a few hundred years old. I'll reach the site tomorrow. It's going to be a hell of a day. You're an adventurer who has set out to find an ancient lost crown. Legend says the crown broke into three pieces hidden in an abandoned mine. The crown can only be reassembled in the ancient throne room, which is, is also... Is like a throne room to you? That, I bet, is? That feels Doesn't that look... feels throne-like. Yeah, it looks like an end destination There's to something, do something with. Something's going to happen there. And I can't... So far, like, I'm, I'm not really being hurt. Ooh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Minecart. Whoa. It automatically moves. Whoa. Whoa, Gameplay cool. got intense. Whoa. Awesome. Fuck yeah. Okay. That's very cool. Clearly an Erlen game. Definitely, although I am definitely lost. <laughs> yeah, this it's, might it's a pretty big game. be a good map game. Well, definitely. Oh, uh, God. Oh, you did it. Oh, oh fuck yeah. Okay, you're what? You're protected somehow. You haven't lost very no, much. No, I've lost zero health. Oh, you're losing it now. Whoa, oh. in like some red room? 
Maybe it's lava that you had to cross really quickly. I feel like it is. Wow, this is a huge game. Uh, as you enter the mine, the entrance caves in and you realize you're stuck. Now you have two things in your mind. Whoa. Finding the lost crown and finding a way out of the mine. Cave in is the first Atari 2600 homebrew we published with an additional onboard RAM. Did you see this? What's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you falling down? or? Yeah, so this is another room. Okay, maybe that isn't. That's not the throne room. That's Can't just be. some kind of... This is a big, big game. This is a massive game, and um, I'm already lost. Normally I'm really good at remembering this stuff, but this is such a big game that, like... Mm. Doubling the amount of RAM available to the game, this memory is cave uses the same super chip technology uh, Atari developed for some of their more advanced games, including Crystal Castle, Junior Pac-Man, and Stargate. Stargate. Developers proceeds to charity. Autism Speaks. Uh, cave -in developer Steve Engelhart writes, All of the developer proceeds for cave -in will be donated to Autism Speaks. Autism is, Autism is one of the fastest growing developmental dis disabilities in the U.S., with 1 in 91 children being diagnosed as of two, October 2009. It knows no cultural racial boundaries, and that number is increasing every year. My son was diagnosed with autism at the age of 2, 9 years ago. So much has been discovered and learned since then, but there's still no cure. By purchasing cave -in, you're not just getting a great game for the Atari 2600. You're also contributing to a great cause that needs everyone's attention. You're helping to fund research that will hopefully find a cure. Thank you for your support, your interest in cave -in, and for helping my wife and I support Autism Speaks. Amazing. I noticed you saw a gate, and I bet that is the total exit out of the whole game. It feels like whole game. You know what I mean? So There's a like, down This there. is it here, yeah. Oh, so it's already okay. went down. Did you? Okay. So, yeah. Running away. Nice variety in the rooms and objects. Yeah, Definitely. It's, it's really big. I mean, it does reuse some of the maps. But yeah. But it's enough of a change that you can't... Like, it feels big and you don't feel I that don't, repeating. Yeah, and I don't feel much threat from... Oh, he, he's attacking you? Oh. oh my god, you're almost dead. Yeah, see, there we go. <laughs> And I was you're just, hitting walls, and that's just, hurting me, too. I was too. just curious. Like, what, what would, Hopefully you'll get a health pack now. Yeah. Now that you need it. That's you're good like to know that three it's Three hits like... away from death now. Yeah, because I was doing so well. He feels sluggish, actually, which is cool, because oh, he's been Oh, maybe hurt. he's poisoned. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, not poisoned, because he'd be going down in health. Yeah, but he's like... Good use of the play... F oh, my God, stop getting hit. Oh, oh. it's hard, because, like, it's some... <laughs> that guy kind of cornered me, man. Only so Google 2600 cave in then images one shows all the screens. Whoa, okay. Pretty large cave system. Is that system. cheating though? Uh, no, not really. It depends on your level. Oh, of questions. That gave you nothing. Oh dear. Ooh, Friends. Buddy. It's dark days. It is. You're like you I need my see. whip. Okay, so I've already been here. Is it the same one? Oh god. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. No, okay, can't. I'm gonna go. Don't get bit. Ah! Ah! Yeah, these snakes are the hardest ones. They, they just wail on me. Okay. That I still didn't do didn't anything. Didn't do anything. I kind of. Wow. I would love to get a handle on, like, what the spatial layout is because okay. i think i, I think i got a you. sense of it yeah i'm kind of i'm basically heading back to the beginning because i'm i'm feeling like it would You've be nice out. to to sort of retrace my steps so i believe this is where we started okay hopefully the map is big enough that i can figure out so what i'm just gonna go left and sort of try to figure out like where we're, how we're dealing and where we're what did you say? Cave in. Google 2600 cave in. Then images on and one shows guys. all the screens. Man, I'm getting wailed on. Oh, my health. It's crazy. Oh, so this thing here, I went down to at one point. Oh, and you never went through it. Oh, interesting. Okay, there so you go. it's light. You've never been through that. Oh, it's just a dark cave. Fuck, that's cool. I love that. Look at this. This is a whole dark area. Nice. So check this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I get well, that's pretty cave I'm getting a sense in. of it. Great. Bam. So I'm looking at that. Oh, That's there cool. it is. There's the big map. Oh, it's fairly large. I'm in the dark place. Wonder if Eleven's gonna show up and help me out. Let's see. 
<laughs> Where is it? I want a big version of that. I am literally fumbling in the dark at this point, dude. I yeah. mean, it's literally happening. It's good, though. Build a character. Open image and new tab. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Here we oh, go. I see. So I you're see. in the dark area. And it's interesting. It seems to sort of weave in and out. Where is that? Ooh, is it that one? No. Where is Why? that? Oh, freaking Sphinx. Sphinx-like professionalism. Okay. Where are we at? Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now I know where you are. Right there. Oh, wild. So here's oh, the map shit. if you want to kill something and stop. Uh, you are right there. Okay, cool. So where are we trying to go? So there's the whole map system. Holy shit. Uh... Good question. It doesn't outline where things are. Or does it? Um. Okay. Did you just get whaled on by somebody? You can wait up. Okay. You can either go up. Oh, right is a dead end. Right's dead. Okay. So you have to go up. I think going up feels right. I still feel like I'm missing the objective. Do you know what I mean? Like it three, just the three parts of the crown. I mean, do do I have any of them? Okay. Oh, just, good death animation. I just died. Okay. Okay. I don't like it has the keys there. I mean, I don't have the official manual, but okay. I should look that up. Okay. So I don't have any keys. I got full health. Twenty six hundred. <clears throat> cave in. And, I, and if I touch the walls, I get hurt? Space cavern. Cave in. Yeah, a little bit. Not as much as the uh, enemies okay. hurt you. I'm going to be much more careful. Mm. Ouch. Maybe this will have it. No. This is oh, definitely an explorative kind of game, you know? Cave in. Document. Take that. Got the manual now. But the yeah, health a... doesn't appear to really do much. Cave in. Endless supply of am ammunition. Yep. That's good news. Enemies will sometimes drop a health pack, uh, which give you a slight boost. Okay. There's a pool of water hidden in the caves, and you will gain all your strength from it. Oh, I want that pool. The walls of the caves are very unstable, so bumping the walls or firing your guns causes a slight tremor in the room. Is this... What's this? Oh. Um, let me take a look at the, ma the map. Because that kind of looks like it transporting... Transports you a bit. Maybe that just changes the color of the room. Nope. It does nothing. It doesn't point to another part of the map. Just cool. It's just a cool little That's nice. thing. That might be the pool of water. That could be, actually. That feels like it. it doesn't. If I get hurt. There are some blue ones, though. We'll go back. So if that might hurt. not be it. Which one are you in? Oh. figure out where you are on the map. Oh, Sorry. Goodness. Oh, no, I got it now, I think. Up goes to a gate. That feels like a place to go. Like one past this, one up more is a gate, but it is not a way. Okay. Like it's, you get to it from another side. Great. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so you have to traverse all the way back. Lame. Okay. To that's the right. Good. To the right or up? Um... To the right. Cool. And then... Oh, this is dead end. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Okay, left and then up. Yeah, I mixed up which one you were on. Oh, okay, cool. So left and then up? Or up? Berserkiana Jones. 
Uh, yes, I finally figured out the technical issue I was having for it. Hopefully before the end of the year, far too long. Packrat's um, store is currently shut down. Um, so he is figuring something out. So hopefully the store will be back up and everybody will be able to buy some more games from him. Oh, Ram Pong. Yes, that's a game I wanted to uh, to buy. That is uh, Thomas Yentz's game where it's Pong only in okay, Ram. Okay, so this shit is where we're back to, I think. Yeah, that's that's a dead end. So you go back up and then to the right. Cool. Does it seem right? Yep. Actually, go back to the left. Is there an exit up above? Yeah. In the map, it does not show. This. It's a dead end. Oh, maybe that's why they didn't bother. Okay, to the right. And then there's a long passageway. Take that, Sphinx. Okay, and good. And then there's a room above. Go check there. It's just dead end just again. Just no dead end. Okay. okay. Then you go to the right, and then check down. Cool. Oh, I'm happy you're on maps, man. <laughs> Thank you. Let's kill that guy. Dead end. There's nothing there. Okay. Because it doesn't show any objects on this map. So we, so got... we have to just kind of Whoa. look everywhere. Kill it. Uh, okay, so I right. want you to go probably to the right okay. first. Because there's kind of a whole area there. Okay. Maybe to the right again? Um, or wait, check wait, up? wait. Uh, it doesn't matter. Right or up goes Let's the go same right. place. Really? And then right again. And then, and then up. up and then up. Great. Oh, I'm so happy you're on maps. Yeah. It's a big one. Up and then up. Because, I mean, we would just have to draw this map out. And Gate. that is... I think you need keys to to get past this. And you had two keys yeah. in the last game, but we just didn't know where all the yeah, that's those part. are. So at least we know now what to do. Where did you get those keys? I don't know. You just had keys. I looked it, it down was and looked up and you had two Same. That was totally what happened. all of a sudden. So wild. Okay. So, yeah, go down to the left. I'm going to get some health. I don't know if it really makes a difference, Didn't but replenish why anything. not? And then up. Cool. Oh, I find these ones the hardest because it's like there's nowhere to hide. Yeah, you just have to lure them to one side, then run to the other. Okay, and then up. And then up. And then left. there's only one way. Well, yeah, don't do that. It hurts you. Not much, but it does. And then let's go down. I feel like this is getting close to where we started. Yeah, this is the starting oh, point. Oh, okay. So there's a bunch of directions. Let me see. Let's go to the left. Let's do it. This, I feel like, is where I got some keys, man. Yeah, and then go up, even though it looks like a dead end. Just kill the thing in the room, and you might get something from it. No. Okay. And then go left. And then down. Down, obviously. Then I think that's the dark area, but I can navigate you through it. Okay. Okay, go right. I can't really... Um, and down. And then... So I go to the right now. Right. And then it seems to me there's only really one way to go. Like, it's kind of like a maze, right? So I can kind of go... Oh, and then up. And, yep. Let's see. So I can kind of go... It appears like I can kind of go... You see I can go through this one or this one? Yep. It might be the Keep same. Keep going to the though. right as far as you can go. But um, the, I can go to the right in two different ways, right? That's fine. So okay. Okay, cool. Then go through here. And then. Oh, same spot. I see. That's good. Okay, I know where you are. Up. So that means. And then up to the right. Okay, we got. Then that. down. And then right, 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 down, left, down, right, up. Left, up, left, 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 lots of left, okay, tons of good. left, so you can't go any more than down, left, up, right, then up, and you're back. Cool. So where are we now? We're uh, new area? Uh, might be, because this is a dead end, so it, it'll it probably have something. So go to the right. No, go to the left first, sorry. Take that, Sphinx. <laughs> okay. And then... Up. Oh, that's the first rat that I've seen. Oh, that's it cool. is. Nothing. Do you have to search in this area? Or... No, it didn't give you anything. Okay. So, go back down, then to the right. What a crazy game. It is. A lot of empty rooms. A lot of stuff. Not a lot of things going on. No. Other than and it's being amazed. wild. It's like, ugh. Oh. Nope. Shoot. Get oh. over. Get away from them. Shoot. Okay. 
those are the guys that fuck me up. But they get you in a corner, and it's like, what do you do? Okay, then go to the right. Okay. Ooh, this is giving me a headache now. Yeah, it's a bit of... Uh... Earthquake is right. I think he uh, maybe had some issues with programming, and then went, uh, there's earthquakes underground. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> so it's part of the game. Yeah, see, there we go. Oh, shit. I'm getting hurt. This should be gray? Yeah. Yeah. Deja vu, man, at this point. Yeah, well, you've been through this, I think. And then we want to go, doesn't matter, up or left. Let's try it. Let's go to the same place. Should and then I... up. And there's a gate. Which we can't do anything with. Where did I get my keys from? Yeah, you had two keys. I don't know how it happened. And this Spires. is fine. Goes back to the same place. And then we're going to go... Maybe to the right? Oh, we've hit a long dead end. I was hoping something would be here. Calls from. Spam. No fun. Okay. We're going to have to traverse a long way back. Oh, yes, a long way back. Because this is back to the... Back to the dark area. Yeah, you know, and all the way back through. Yeah. No! Okay. Hurting yourself. Yeah. And see, I think I'm gonna Oof. die soon, because it's just... There's only so long you can, like... Are you getting sluggish again? Is it a little bit... Yeah, he's pretty sluggish now. So, go to the left. And the right is a dead end. It's wild. It's like, you have so much health in this game, and then all of a sudden you have no health, you the know? The treasure chests... Well, they're supposed to be health that is being dropped... Um, but they don't seem to increase. No, your and then you can take much. so many hits without like having any effect, and then all and of a then sudden, then it just goes. Way yeah, and then down. you're just getting wailed on. It's really weird. Okay. So down. And then down, and then you're in the maze. And it's so rough. Left, it's rough because we're down, like no farther than right like at all. We're actually less far than last game. And then all the way to the right, and then. Down. Because I think we need those keys. That right. seems to be like the only. Down. Yes. Left. Up. Right. Actually, just follow the path. Up left. All the way to left. Down. Left. Okay, stop. 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 Um, and then to the left. Down. Left. Up. Follow the path. Oh, the path. There's only one path up. Thanks left. for the tip about the um, uh, map. map. Oh my god, we'd be just be so lost. Be. Okay, so that leads us. Okay, now we're going to go right. Hopefully, we can find that pool of healing. What? Wait, where am I? We're back to the beginning, so this is the first. This is where we started. Oh. So, yeah, what are the treasure chests for? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, so go back up. Yeah, go so, to the right. This this screen think, is not Yeah, open. I think it's totally the right, and I think that's where I went initially, oh, actually. Oh, wait, 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 wait. These screens are not exactly right. No, we've already done all that, so go back. To the Maybe left. up? It must yeah, be up. Yeah, it's, it's up. Oh, and there's going to be that thing i got to dodge soon. Yep. Yeah, that's where we're going to be going. Okay. Well, at least we know now, so if I die, it's like we don't have to... F don't have to do any of that. Any of it. And this is fairly linear at this point, which is decent. Okay. Yes. It so it's, I think we should be hitting the... Um, so going to the left? Just go to the left. Oh, there's nothing in there. Dead end? Exit. Exit. Dead end. And up. And this should be like the, yeah, this yeah. room. There you go. Okay, that's where we gotta go. Yep, that's the first so thing. It's up, up, up. Basically, we just gotta go up. That's all we gotta yep. do. Okay. So you should, should... And then there is a down, which says it's a dead end, so try Let's and go check down. check it out, because yeah, that might be like... Might be something in here. 
I would get that. Even though it doesn't. Oh god! Did you see? Oh oh god! That's... Get out of that as soon as you can. Okay, go back up. Did I just like Whoa. teleport back to the beginning? You did. Damn it! What a rough predicament. Okay, you got stuck in a wall. Don't get keep away from the walls. Oh my god! What? <laughs> what a tough gig, I, man. You don't see that too often, but. At least it doesn't teleport you into nowhere. Okay, so I gotta go up. And then it's gonna be this thing again. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, earthquakes shaking the room. Earthquakes are everywhere. Whoa, I'm Don't getting... get stuck. There we go. That's over to the right. And this is where you got mauled. And it's down. It's up. Uh, down first. Let's check down. Or was that nothing? That was nothing. Go up. Yeah, that's Don't bother dealing with him. I'm just getting hurt. Okay, there are two directions here. Let's do the Ball left. Wall trap, not a bug. Cool. Go let's, left? Let's do the left. Because it's a shorter... It didn't increase. I know, it's, it's a rough game. Because like... It's, it's like you have... It, there is no healing. Uh, sure. Let's go down. It's a very short. Down and to the left. Yeah. Think. And see if there's anything there. Nope. Good boss. Sometimes you have to kill those guys to get the thing. So go back in there. No. Wow. A lot of nothing going on in the game. This is a tough That's... game, man. It's like because we're not doing terrible. No. But we're... just nothing's happening. Like. Oh yeah, down there. Uh, yeah, left. Um, right is a short little nothingness, so maybe something's there. Oh, it's just one room. Oh. No. I don't see a sphinx. I see a messed up coyote. <laughs> yeah, and we got a snake here too. Okay. Uh. Wall trap. Not a bug. <laughs> it's true. It's not a bug. It's a feature. That is right. I mean, yeah. If you get stuck in the wall, you get transported back. Sure. This is going to lead to a blue pool, which may... Hey, that would be awesome. To the left? Uh, or up? Oh, oh, shit. That would go back. I can I go back up. I don't know. If, can I? You should be able to. Press the button and get out, out of it. No. I just died. Hit the wall too many times. Ah! Okay, well, it's no big deal, because, like... We know a quick path now. If anything... <laughs> up and to the right. Up to the right? Is that, oh, I thought it was just up. Oh, it's up, up, up. Yeah. Dodge the walls. Okay. We gotta get some progress in this game. Yeah, get those keys back. But that's. Did how you did get I... the keys before you went on the minecart? That I cannot remember. So it's go up. up. Yep, this is the right way. That was quick. Nice. Health that does nothing when you don't even need it. What a, what a weird game. Okay, so like, <laughs> and now up, I believe, right? Because yep. bottom is just... Uh, oh, yeah, right it's there. only one way. Yeah, that's right, sorry. And then it's to the left. Oh, How did I do that? Quick work of that guy. Jesus. And now up, right? Um, nope. Down. I think it's... Is this the mine shaft? No, it's not. Not yet. Oh, oh no, dead end. Way. Cool. My God, you got the map. <laughs> this is a very holy crap. Yeah, it's up and then to the left. Up. Snake. Okay. And then down. I want to feel like there's some progress that's being made. You know? Yeah. Okay, so now up instead of left? Yeah, let's go up. There's the pool. Maybe? Is that think? the pool? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know. Didn't do anything. Oh, Didn't make a noise. Now left could be this mine shaft. Yeah. yeah. So we're just going to... Avoid. Yeah, don't hit the walls either. It's hurting you. Oh, shit. It's hard, though. Okay. So maybe... 
I'm down. A little lost here because it doesn't show that minecart part. And there's so many ways that we can go too as part of the challenge. Here. Oh my god, what is happening? Where are you? Oh, oh. Did I find where you are now? I don't know. I need more info. Yep, okay. Found where you are. Wow. There's another gate. Uh Okay, this thing, I feel like this has got to okay, be... Okay, just something. kill something and don't move. Stop, stop. Okay, sorry. I'm I need to read the instructions. running around. Inside the gate, there are four locked gates. You have to search the cave to find the three individual keys. To ah. search a room for a key, simply bump into a cave wall. Fuck. So we got to be searching all these fucking places. Uh, Bumping into walls? Yeah. Search a room uh, well, however, as all parts of the room with the key may not drop it. So you have to search the whole room. Oh my god, this game just became... Nightmarish. Because you get hurt from searching rooms. Um, if there's a key in the room, you automatically pick it up. It appears in your inventory. That's how you got the keys. Because I smashed into some random walls. Each locked gate has its own specific key. The fourth oh gate will god. unlock the presence of the three lost crown pieces. As Holy you find the three pieces of a crown, the inventory status bar will show how many you've collected. In the lower left. When you have all the three, go to the final cave and final find the throne room, which legend says has the power to bond. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we've been... Should have been reading the instructions. This seems like a, a room where it has... Do you see what I mean? Like, it's weird. Like, search, search this room. This looks like a room that has a key. Because it's a dead end. No? Try inside that thing. Try hit the right walls. On the left. No. I feel like we gotta go back to the beginning and like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's the rough part because, because, because there's no way we I can retract. It's so hard. Uh, what time is it, too? <laughs> yeah, we might have to move on to the last game. I think we should because we this just hit a, a we hit a one to revisit wall. later for sure. Just because it's like we gotta be way more systematic about this. That's really challenging game. It is. Okay. But pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> this is just play drunk and bump into the walls as you go. It's very sparse though. Oh, I oh, found. Yeah, and really I, empty. And I don't like the fact that the health like instantly kills you, or like you can take a bunch of hits for a while. It's yeah. really wild. Okay, so what are we at? Um, now we're doing Bit Quest, and we yes. had played Bit Quest two ah. earlier. I don't know who I played that with, but this is by Brian Shia. Excited. AKA Metal Babble. So, uh, go for it. Okay, so the first one, bin. the bin. Cool. Yeah. Ooh. That's an RPG as well. Oh, that's fun. Also, a game with a gun is so much easier than a sword. Like, no, you know what I mean? Like, the distance. Yes, yes. Just play drunk and bump into walls as you go. Yeah, that would be the way to do it. Just bump into all the walls, every room, because... You have to search every single room on all the walls in every room in that game. That seems like a long thing to do. Yeah, you just, we want to like, now that we know that, we want to go in and be super fucking systematic. Yeah, but it's you just traverse everything. Just slow. Oh, hi, Trey Guy. Hey, Trey Guy, we're on the last game of the show. Bit Quest. So this, the prequel to Bit Quest 2. <laughs> so I'm going to load up the instructions here. And this by Metal Babble. How to play. <laughs> he says the sword is down two screens and over one. I know. That is very important to actually do immediately. Thanks for hooking us up with some insider trading. <laughs> okay, let's load this up. How to play... It's from 2017. In BitQuest, you take the role of a bit knight who must rescue the princess of the bits. Hey. She is locked away in an evil castle guarded by dragons. Of course. Explore the world and uncover the location, location of the dragons and save the princess. To aid in your quest, there is an ancient sword that can be used to attack monsters. Once you find the sword, use the joystick button to attack. The awesome. overworld has many regions, including grasslands, deserts, volcanoes, and snowy fields. Every, each region has different monsters that dwell there. The location of the sword and dungeons are randomized based on the left difficulty of the switch. 
A, locations randomized. B, locations always the same, which we're on all the same because that's easier for now. Yeah, good idea. Watch the health bar. Every hit you take will reduce your hearts by one. When they're entirely empty, the game is over. Some enemies will drop power-ups that recover your hearts. So let's do it. Let's get the sword. It's down two screens and over one. And I believe it's to the right. Because I played this this time. What he said? Uh, uh, oh no. Over one. There you go. Sword time. Because before you get the sword, you can do literally nothing. Very Zelda-like. Oh, that's cool. Should have held it up. But that'd be too close. Da, 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 da. Okay, so what I do? Whoa. You see it's not going? Flickery. There you go. Now you've got five out of the six hearts. Cool. This is the main area we were in? Yes. So which way should we go? Um, I would stick to the grasslands. There we go. So we got this. And I, and they go over and up and down. I think they're three or four high each each kind of area. Oh. And it's one of those games that resets every time you come in and out. So now you're full health. That's good news. Now you're good. Oh, weird. That's water. That they can swim in and you can't. Because you don't have a boat. I'm just gonna. I'm just so getting my bearings. Going back and I'm forth. just getting my bearings again. Let's get, yeah. So that's good. So that should be. So we go left and let's go up. Let's see what up is like. Okay. Yeah. So we want to find some castle. Match. That's cool. your home base. That's where you came from. Ice level. Okay, great. St so I would just stick in the grass. Keep going to the left or right. Yeah. Let's see how far we get. And stay on your castle level. So if it loops around, you'll know when you've looped. This one doesn't hurt me into the walls. Ah. Oh, you got smacked by a surprise guy. Oh, you've hit a river. Okay. Have to go around the river. Oh, no, still going. Give me some life. There you go. Now you can go around the river. You're in the desert area. And then I can come up. It's wild because you almost have to like you can't just, just hit it you have to move. that's why it's not showing up i think okay. he's off the screen too much okay so this is our river let's go back up to your level was that the first uh, one or that, that one, was I think. it so okay. keep oh god <laughs> i like the little guy's design though it's very oh, cute oh it's great very simple clean looking characters it's all in black and white yeah. Which is really nice, except for, you know, the, the other things in the game. Very uh, Game Boy-esque looking, I think. And how do you like that mechanic of moving to use it's the a sword? Bit, it's, it's definitely, like, dangerous. Yeah, so it, it kind of evens things out. Otherwise, you could just go... You could kill them too easily. Yeah, I got some health back. Okay. Spo oh. Yeah, he hasn't said anything. He doesn't <laughs> Okay, so what's the goal of this thing? You That's got the sword? to fight the dragons. Um, so you need to get find something. Okay, you I think I looped the... around because, yeah. Yeah, but you didn't see all the levels. So let me read out some more info from okay, Metal cool. Babel, or maybe go into the desert or somewhere else, or the or the ice. So on his write-up from his website, which is atari.metalbabble.com, uh, BitQuest, find the ancient sword, defeat the ruthless bad guys, and save the princess. We'll save that princess. Oof, hands coming out of the... Whoa. BitQuest, yeah, that was one of the first ones I made. Still learning Batari and Atari development in general back then. This is an email from Brian. So there's probably some line count issues at large. Um, it's pretty stable. You can see a little jitter here and there. When you switch screens, uh, I you're see. back again? Yeah, it kind of loops around. Did you just go straight up? It went off? straight up, yeah. Oh, okay, so now you just got to go over. Pick a land and go over. Oh, boy. BitQuest 1, like 2, was designed to feel like a large, vast game, which it does. It's got a big, big area. It's so got some cactus. Yeah, some scorpions. Oh, back to grass. Back to grass. And then sword. You gotta explore one of these levels. You keep going back to the grass. Pick like a...
just pick a level and keep going across. Okay, cool. And then you can see everything on that level. So otherwise you're just doing loops. We'll just keep saying the things. Uh, Mallard Games, The Legend of Blob, a link to the past past. <laughs> Snowmen are bad guys? Okay, so here's like oh, the link for this here's game. Like the river. You want a link for this game? Oh, I can't easily do that. Just for, search for, well, just go to actually Atari dot metal babble metal m e t a l babble dot com or uh, metal babble can uh, link that as well because i'm not in front of the computer over there why are you looping okay give me the joystick yeah it's just <laughs> hard because it's like i just keep zooming so around continue okay big quest one like two was designed to feel like a large vast game some of the things i did to uh, to try and achieve this was randomizing the map locations with various items and coming up with uh, distinct regions, forests, deserts, etc. Um, uh, the game takes inspiration from games like Adventure, Sword Quest, Venture, and even Zelda. In fact, back when I made this, it was shortly after um, playing Breath of the Wild, and I thought, oh. what would that be like on Atari 2600? Oh. I ran into a lot of limitations during development, and I had originally planned for it to be a larger game. In essence, a lot of the ideas that never worked out in BitQuest ended up happening in BitQuest 2. Good luck with your show. I thank always you enjoy your playthroughs. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, Metal Babble. Yeah, he, he's in the uh, chat. Oh, big snowman there. Yeah, okay, so... I love the little yeah. snowman there. Thank you, snowman. So I'm exploring the snow level. We haven't found a dungeon. Well, the thing is, is like, no matter what, you end up looping back. Yeah, left or right, which makes sense. Yeah, it's so, kind of like it's a round you're level. on a circular like land. You come back to the beginning. There's no edges. Some games yeah. uh, make it so that it's edges. And, and then you, you end up hitting stop. up that river as well at a certain point. Yeah, which makes you... Okay, so let's go down. We've hit that snowman again. Let's explore this. Okay, See, up, this is what ended up happening down. to me, right? I would end up like... Back down hitting again. this water and then yes and then i would end up going looping back sometimes vast may not be good because <laughs> if it's too big and you there's just nothingness forever that's kind of what the last game felt like it's yeah just a lot of mazes just a lot oh yeah God. and it feels like you're not making like necessarily a lot of progress actually i'm gonna use the river as the barrier to go back oh, the snow level is only two what too tall yeah and this okay. is the desert it seems yeah so let's traverse the What's desert the going on a screen so i always take my sword out yes good idea it's a very good idea yeah i'm sinking in the sand hey. <laughs> there's gotta be a dungeon or something soon eh yeah ow ah. oh passed right through them yeah if you use hardware collisions um if you're not on the same draw screen yeah as the enemy you don't get hit so if i'm doing this actually it's sharing with my sword so that shouldn't be a problem so i think i've traversed that so let's go on the next one up on the yeah. now we need something a dungeon that that is an issue. If you don't put enough in the game, your your guy's just gonna be wandering. Yeah, forever. yeah. Well, no, you you're you're giving me shit for looping, but do you see what I mean? Like, yeah, it's sort of what it, it's sort of like the name of the game. Unfortunately, yeah, it's a lot of a lot of adventuring. It's yeah. trying to figure out like where we're at. Okay, you know? I think I've but you're you're wise because you're doing the circle is smart. Now I'm in yellow land. Yeah, oh, it's a little bit different. Good, you got some health. So let's keep going left. The hand is creepy. It's really good. That hand. Okay, we gotta get this. Oh, oh desert. Okay. Different colored sand of the desert. Oh, let's go. P 
pyramids. Pyramids, very Sick. nice. Some good screens on here. Snake. A mainstay. Okay, I think I've seen that. So let's go up again. One. Oh, maybe not. It's big sphinx. That's cool. I like that. That is very nice. It's because you get like the sense of where things are. I mean. So I'll loop till I hit the sphinx again. I no. found nothing. I know, it's wild. It's like, there Hooray! we go. Oh, dude, finally. It's lost. Oh, no. Okay, we know that it's in the sand on the Sphinx level. Yeah, find the Sphinx. And head over. Yellow snow land. Yeah, don't eat the yellow snow. Palm trees. That's cool. And the Sphinx. Sphinx, okay, see, so one oh. up. Oh, now we're back on green. Grass. Wow. That's okay, so we'll keep on looping. That's good to know that it's like one down from uh, the bottom uh, water. That's easy to find, right? Because if you just yes. find the thing, go down, the one down, and I, then... I'm going to use the river as the barrier. Yeah, because it just it gives a good sense of like... Easier than trivers. Because LOL need a map? <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Is that the river again? No, it's a different no. river. Because we haven't hit anything. Oh, no, okay. There is. We've almost looked at every single location on the map so far. Oh, what was that noise? You just killed somebody. Okay, so this is the river. This now. is the river. So we're going to head to the right now. And this is the sword? Yeah. So we need a key, and I feel like we've been very methodical. I haven't completely done all the green yet, but. But VLC. I do need a. Oh, finally. Oh, God. Is that the only dungeon on the overworld? It's got to be. Because we, we went everywhere. Okay, so it's good to know. So we got our dungeon. I don't know if I have to kill everything to get stuff. Some, some games you have to kill. It's not a bad idea because you, you could probably use some health. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, anyway. Just to be full. It's not a bad, bad thought. I like that you don't get hurt by the wall. Yes. Although I don't I, like that mechanic. Well, actually, much. was it the, being hurt? or You know what I mean? Yes, you did. A little bit. Maybe on certain walls. Hooray, yeah, progress. we got a key. Okay, so now we got to go to that other place. Yeah, which we know where it is. We on got the Sphinx this. level in the sand. One down from the water. I like this guy. He's so cute. He's like he a little... He's like Kirby. Yeah, he's got a real Kirby vibe. Yeah. For sure. And it's amazing what you can get out of just like... What's that? Six pixels wide? Eight? Seven? Okay, so... So get to that water, basically. That's going to be, like, your best, like, bearing. Okay, so that now one? one down from the water. Yeah, so here you go. So get just... The... Oh. Yeah, you, you might want some health. Oh my god, that guy is not letting me... Yeah, I definitely want some health before I go in to that... Yeah. He was on the Sphinx level, so yeah, so couple just more gotta... over. But I do need to do some farming. And now's the time. Whoa, what was that? A lot of noise. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Okay. Two more. One more. Yay! Okay, we're, we're almost we're probably, there too. Probably pretty good. Okay, I need a little bit more help. There we go, good. we're full. Let's do it. It's in the pink and purple dungeon. Whoa, whoa, bullets we got and penguin. Shit just got real. At least they're not going after me. Is that an octopus? <laughs> Floating eye monster. What are they called in D and D? Oh, um, a uh, 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 beholder. Beholder, yes. Eye of the beholder. <laughs> Took me a second there. Yeah, nothing seems to be like attacking me, like specifically. It's all. Oh, is that the princess? Did we do it? Is that it? The end! Yay! Yay! Okay, cool. Good work, man. Yay, and the hearts are everywhere. It just took a bit of time. Yep. Oh, a little jittery there. 
So I can see the randomized world would be Definitely. the game you would want to play after yeah, this Yeah, because once you've... you figure it out, then you got to kind of like... And then you're just being systematic about it. Now yeah. that we see the way that the sort of world works. Yeah. Not bad. Simple, simple little game. And how big was this? Well, oh, yeah. My... Oh, here you go. Sorry. Is I think, this a fork? I think no, he's... it's no 4K. I think he said... Uh, yeah, I shouldn't say what I remember. Yeah. Let's see. If it's four, that's... Oh, it's 16. 16, okay. that's amazing. It's got a lot of uh, lot of enemies. Uh, very good uh, level design. Um, the sword mechanic works really well. Um, obviously, a very short game. You yeah. go into a dungeon, you get a key. You go into another... You go into the castle. Mm -hmm. The enemies are not a threat. No. Ever. I've never felt the enemies were anything other than, oops, I accidentally got hit by them going on. Now to I a can screen. just kill a couple other ones and get some things. I yeah. can see how like he um, said that this was he learned from this yeah. game and then went on to do sort of uh, yeah. Big Quest Two. Character design in this beautiful, amazing. Really I like the good. wrapping around the world is a really nice thing because it also feels more immersive. Because like when you hit the walls of the world, you're, it's a bit annoying. Yeah. Versus this is an elegant way of having. There's no walls. He just keeps going around, which mm -hmm. is feels more truthful to life. Like that's what it's like to be on Earth. Mm -hmm. Unless yeah. you're one of those crazy flat earthers. <laughs> then there's a wall. Then there's an ice wall. It's a lot like Game of Thrones. That's it's right. A more fun in, world to be in, I guess. Passable ice wall. <laughs> so let's and those commercial airlines are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're mm. all lying for no reason. There's a lot of people all in, all in cahoots. Yeah, dude. Did you ever see the so, Netflix doc about that? I, d I watched a clip about it and i was like no nah, I, I, yeah. I don't think it's I not very do it. it's not very good the end of the doc is hilarious because one guy has it's, it's a got the greatest end eater documentary i've seen because one guy is like convinced that he's going to convince the world that the world is like flat yeah. and he's doing this test which is like the oldest test of all time it's basically you fire a laser and then you're like okay is it of a certain height and then there's a moment where he discover you see a flat earther discovering that it's like the earth is like round it just has this look on his face like this test, oh no! And then it cuts to credits. So I was like, "That's a great ending." But like, other than that, it's 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 an interesting topic for sure. I think the biggest delusion about that is all the flat earthers completely believe that every single other planet and star in the whole universe is round, except except Earth. It's one of those um, this this egotistical mindset that well, humans yeah. are so special and unique that. Our world is something that's so different With and made center. just for us, and we're a special species. And it's like, no, no, we're not. And I think that's where it comes from. I think all those people they yeah. want they want to believe in a narrative. It's more fun. That's the problem. It's more it is. fun. It it'll is. Be, it'll be more fun if the world was flat. But yeah, it'd also be, be like, why? Why is ours only flat? Why is must this? Be you know, so special. It's same with anything. Like it'd be more fun if there were Sasquatches around. There would be yes. more fun if there were aliens. But there probably isn't, and that's this. Or any anything supernatural. It, yeah, it makes for a more fun, fun world. Or, yeah. Or a you know, a zombie apocalypse is coming, and I'm yeah. gonna get prepared for it. And that's that's a fun, exciting thing to have happen. But you know, these things. No, the. If, the earth is just slowly dying yeah, and we're is... killing it. That's not very fun. No, is it? we're no. probably not the center of the universe. We're probably just no. another mammal that happens to have, you know, that's the, that's the yeah. wild part. And you can see it go, going back in the early versions of the, what is it? Heliocentric. That's right. Version of our solar system where the earth is the is center, center and immovable and everything they had to, work it so there's these complex yeah. movements but but where those things get cool i met my my roommate's brother was a hardcore flat earther and the yeah. funnest part about those moments is i was trying my best to convince him but there reaches a point where his arguments were basically like well you read about it how do you know you haven't been lied to and there is a moment where you get to where you're like wait what if everything I know is wrong? And that's and yes. that's when it gets spooky and fun and you get like some sort of tingles. But then you walk away and go, oh, wait, no, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> I read a great quote in regards to exactly that. People who have uh, come to conclusions without um, reason and logic cannot be argued with with reason and logic. Exactly. So you're trying to convince them with reason and logic, but they never came to their own conclusion using those methods. So why no. would you doing it 
and and uh, he also convinced them that way. And it also we got to the standstill where he kept telling me like, well, no, 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 I can't argue with you. I just, let me show you these YouTube videos I saw, <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh yeah. dear. But it's it's but it's fascinating. So I like that we have a round Earth uh, in this in this, uh, this, this game. This, yeah, this game. It, it does work. Universe is flat. We are a three D projection on a two D space. Current, Current two thousand nineteen. We're just Ultima Online. <laughs> That's true, man. Yeah. We're just in a simulation. Why do you think we yeah, only have you 12 can't notes? Or not. They just repeat, yeah, right? That's just weird. Loops over and over. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so let's do a wrap up. Uh, QB. Um, very fun, especially for a 4K game. Oh my god, that's amazing to to fit. Such like a that. terrific little 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 design. I mean, yeah. that's where like again, elegant, simple little designs yeah. like that are just so, very powerful. I mean, yeah, puzzle so games are good. Play. Yeah, and it, that's a great puzzle game. I felt like my brain aged. was like, like when I first Mine started was working the whole time. Oh my god, when I first started playing chess, I had that feeling like my brain was being stretched. I had yes. that same feeling when I was playing that. I was like, ooh, this parts of my brain that I don't normally your, use. Your brain is reforming and making it's, new connections. It's trying to like figure out how to solve this problem, and I'm like, ooh, and then you yeah. have to go fast. I like that one. That was yeah. really fun. Pixel Ninja Pit Jumper. I mean, not much to it. It's, no. an, it's, an, it's a good example of somebody, of what you can make quickly. That's right. In Batari Basic. Um, and he made a, a fun, tiny cool little, little thing and... platformer game that has a couple little twists and turns. And you can charge up and there's arrows firing at you. He made it in six hours. And then so. the two death screens is cool. It's yeah. just neat to see a, a, like a tiny little game. A title been... screen and an ending. Um, Cave-In. Um, a very special sparse rpg kind of game um Def i would i would have made the keys just visible maybe you thought that's too easy once you've mastered that's the it challenge out, man yeah because once you've played it then then it's done then it's done and you know the game so maybe he did that for it, some randomness but it truly goes to show with design game gameplay you need to feel like there's some incremental improvement that was a game where yeah we played it three four times invested a good i don't know maybe 40 minutes that yeah. seems reasonable um and i felt like i was no farther than when i started and that's yeah. a, that, and that's a soul crushing feeling I and mean, we didn't read the instructions about the keys very true that's on us but at the same time it's like there's a feeling of like oh we just sort of like didn't uh yeah there's like because even in this it's I, I, this is nicer because it's like oh you get the sword and then yeah. you find the thing and it you do this and there's a progression and he's able to build in randomization of where the where the where the dungeon is and where the castle is and things are moved around it's just the mechanic of blindly searching definitely is is a frustrating i've seen it in other games a good design doesn't need to be explained <laughs> definitely yeah, there's some truth is, to that that for is sure. true i mean some complex games you need some instructions for I think that it's because it's it, Atari is very limited in what you can show and tell on screen. I think good design you need to sort of you, there's a launching pad that's obvious. And then maybe there's yeah. deeper stuff that you need to let Google, but you need to sort of off the bat be like, "Oh, okay, I this is." It. Unless a puzzle game like like one is a bit of an exception because you might need to go like, "Oh, but this even is QB, the QB." Uh we could have figured out everything out except for maybe that firing mechanism yeah totally and then it's like oh that's the end result you need to get you can move things around okay i get it you collect the fruit avoid the bad guys but and knowing that like okay you got to match this shape to this shape so there's sometimes there is some leaping pad but i do think that like you know that one felt like i was like oh i fundamentally don't I'm missing something. And even yeah. after 40 minutes, I felt like I was missing something. Yeah. And then the weird things of like, I don't know if you get hurt when you smack into the wall, but then you're that supposed was... to smack into the wall yeah, the to health... find the thing. The health was very strange. So it seemed like you had a lot of health for a very long time. And then all of a sudden, and then it's, it's like, like boom. Dead. It's like you're seeing the last 10% only. And there's like, uh -huh. the rest of the 90 is you're not seeing it. And then infinite bullets too is wild. Like, you know, it's just, yeah, it's interesting that, design stuff. That could have been a mechanism he could have put in the game very easily like there's health pickup and bullets pickup and also um and the fact that every time you go into a room it regenerates a monster there's no feeling of like completion yeah. either because it's like it's I mean, rinse repeat all the time like if that's a limitation of the atari not having enough ram yeah it makes but sense that's, and having such an expansive because because if we it's if, pretty rare because if i felt like 
uh, one of the like the guys were killed, then I would have an idea of what was new and what was old. But it was easy to get lost because yes. it's like, well, fuck, I don't know. Like, and every room looked similar. There wasn't this because okay. that's something I like about this is you have the desert, the so you can kind of distinguish yes. like geographically where you are. And that one, I was like, uh, there's the dark space that sort of leads to somewhere that is a dead end. That yeah, cave cave in did have very nice layout and background. Hell yeah. But, um, yeah, needed more to do. More so to I do think the, for sure. a bullet pickup and also the color coding of areas would help. Would be good. And it's always fun to find, like, even, like, you know, like, I don't know, uh, 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 start with a whip and then get a gun. Like, yeah. I mean, it's, it's... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> At first, you have to be really close to the enemies and hit them. And then you find the gun. And it's so, you know, and just you so there's... the gun. Progression. Yeah. And, and you could, by dividing up the dungeon... Or in the cave, or dividing up the cave and having levels, you would divide up the amount of RAM needed for each one, and you could say, "Oh, I've cleared that room." Then you go to the next one. You can't go back, and then you go, "Oh, I've cleared that room in this level of the and dungeon." I, and I think you're wise to start on the first level with a smaller amount of stuff to sort of explore. Like yes. if there were only like seven rooms. And then you have to find one of the keys to go through the first one. Yes. The, the fact that you could explore it's the confined. entire level was very challenging. Yeah, it's like, oh my God, it's too big. Oh, Metal Babble's off. We're hey, almost done anyway. Yeah, thanks, thanks for hanging out, Metal. Thanks for hanging out and making this game. Like, um, uh, uh, for example, uh, The Witcher 3 is a really great open world game. It's got a great map, but the first level is very contained. So you're mm. stuck on this island, and then you get out into the whole world. Yep. And so it's nice because then Good you're like... games are made like that. It's it's a tutorial level. Correct. It shows all the mechanics in a simple, straightforward way. Yep. And um, all the Elder Scrolls games have that to some degree where you start in like... An, it's like a first dungeon. And it would have been nice with that one if we had like first things yep. then because then if Five we because then if we bumped in the wall and found the key we go oh this is the game and then yes. we can go and because you're confined and you can't get out unless you get the key and there's only so many rooms you can find the key so yeah a, a tutorial type uh, but, level um, would be but really i like good. the potential i love the movement i like the i like the right. enemies yeah. i like the thing it's so tough right because it's actually really great stuff that was going on it was just yeah. difficult to, to sort of figure out what was what we were supposed to do mm -hmm. um which is also our bad sometimes too yeah because yep. if and also if we were just fucking around the only thing we had to do was play one game it would be different but we're playing four games today so yeah. there's always a yeah, level of time. like uh so coming up we're going to be in the next on friday with tanya we're going to be going for two patches and i'm actually going to show her uh qb again yeah she'll love it and maybe another game we'll revisit on friday as well um i think i can get the river raid patch really easily i did a quick run through and it's like, okay yeah, good. that's not too hard and also the freeway patch i think i'll be able to get very quickly as well I'm going to come back to Stampede. I actually watched some videos on it. And it's like, oh, that's how you do it. Okay. <laughs> it's a very meticulous, particular game. Because if you do it wrong, it's so hard. And you die really Ooh. quick. So you have to really know how to manipulate well, the game. Did you try that play. wireless card yet? I'm sure you would have oh, mentioned it. Oh, I haven't had time. Um, but, I mean, I've, I've got it so it hooks up to my network. Great. Um, but I have not got it set up yet so I can talk. Yeah, I'm sure you would have, if you did it, I'm sure oh, you would have said it. It'd be in the news, yeah, yeah in I the top have. of the show. And also we're a week and a half away, again, from the 12 hour, um, Stella fundraiser. That's going to so be fun. So we're going to have a really lot good. of fun there and I'll be actually starting to, to really get the last pieces in place, start, uh, working on those auction items and get them ready to be put up on eBay. And I've already got the donation page up and going. It's not public yet. Um, so that's all ready to go. And um, yeah, I've got a bunch of people lined up to call in. I've got the games lined up. Um, I think I just need to do a bit of research on Stella, what it's about, so we can talk about it yeah. from time to time. Yes, AKA the Stellathon, as dubbed by Dan AVC. That's correct, man. Yep. And I'm just 12 here hours to play games. Be fun. We're all here just to play games. <laughs> and whatever else comes out of it, it's all a bonus. That's right. Yeah. So thanks for tuning in. Oh, and uh, next Wednesday we'll be playing a game by Frost. Um, it was a bit glitchy because it had some voice in it, some sampled oh, cool. voice. 
but he's made a version now without the sample so we can play that game and uh, that's all I have scheduled so far but more coming up uh, isn't some flash air website closing down oh I have no idea about Ooh, that yeah, no. yeah hopefully not because I just bought it but there's lots of information out there already on flash air that you can download and upgrade these so they're still still good so thanks everybody for tuning in everybody that uh, chatted in there i supposed to thrust 26 dan Trey abc guy. metal babble.com splendid nut tray guy militant buddhist pack rat vvg mallard games um impaler 26 uh, uh ground trooper was Tiki in there dan k ground trooper andrew. dj mips andrew davy uh did i say i is supposed to i think i did nathan lot, strong a lot of a lot of people talking awesome oh there's trey guy hey pack rat nice show see you next time yeah we probably spent a little bit too long on cave in knocking about but that's all right that's all right we gave it a good go we did so thanks everybody for tuning in and we will see you on friday 6 p.m pacific time or next wednesday with erlin again same time same channel all the good things there's atari over there off camera sleeping good show uh maybe encouraged to do what maybe it encouraged ad oh andrew davy i hope so i hope so too man because he was a bit down about um developing for the 2600 after uh galaga came out ah and he was like oh my god well nobody can top this so why try because people will be expectant um to yeah. all games to be this good now see but it's, no it's, it's not about try to cognitively reframe um those things by getting excited you know yeah. i try to do that all the time like uh if i like some of my good friends who are great filmmakers when i see them make good films there's all, always a part of your brain that's like oh but then really you gotta skip past that and jump to the point of like it's amazing that people are doing good stuff because yeah, if someone's still innovating if someone's doing good work it, it's it's inspiring and yes. it's exciting to kind of like that's makes you want to go it. and work harder so i think yeah i mean it's it's uh, for sure i have that response too sometimes where you just like oh my god how can anything be better than this but remember <laughs> that it's 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 what's important is your thing yeah you, know, you got to make your thing because that's their thing and yeah. they did that and they're and and try to get inspiration from them yeah. but figure out your thing and whatever nobody that can make is. games like you can exactly like, nobody can create be creative in the way you be creative like, like i'm not gonna make movies as good as all these huge directors well, but yeah. those are their movies i'm never i was never going to make that no. movie only they were gonna make that movie and you gotta figure out your way to do it and i guarantee you that your way is gonna be interesting and there's gonna yeah. be an audience and it's gonna be exciting i mean and that's and 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 and, and and something like a Galaga coming out it should get people inspired about kind of being part of this community because that's yeah. exciting. It's like so great to think that like we're more still people breaking ground and making well, yeah. new, new great things. I mean, yeah, it's a port and it's based on something else, but but no, keep going, my yeah. friends, please. Keep making games and we'll keep playing them. Uh, Trey guy, when somebody wears, wears a great Atari twenty six hundred shirt, they make me want to buy one. <laughs> this one is a very nice one. It's very, I mean, it's less subtle than I usually want, but you can't get around that yeah because um, right nice right course. now i'm watching the sopranos and i just watched american honey and it's got me so inspired i the sopranos is an amazing That's show what it should do. Yeah. and american honey's beautifully made film and i'm like it's just like oh it's good it's just like really cool when there's nice. good stuff out there nice okay uh we're out of here i know these extended goodbyes it's hard <laughs> to say goodbye it but is. we must so we'll see you next time see you next thanks week. everybody for hanging out bye-bye